more Jingle Bell, my Jingle Bell hip hop. Not to be confused with Double Dutch or Hopscots. Got the beat that make you wanna break and go pop lock. Get the halls and upload this on your new Xbox. 360 with more raps than a gypsy. Passing out more gifts than Saint Nicky. So break out the cookie, Slim Santa or Mickey. Mouse glass of milk before he come down the chimney. They used to say be good and get nothing. The opposite of Christianity, stop fucking. Cause every year they got the done and daughter what they wanted. In the first week back to school, it got flaunted. Saw the jacket, cross colors, can't hate on it. My new skateboard, click grip tape on it. Wake up before dawn, that was the plan. Send the grandmas for cranberry sauce in the can. Plenty of ham, send me the fam. I could entertain for hours with the way that I dance. Give me a chance, I could play Santa. These three for me, this one for grandma. Hammer it all out as you can bet. Jingle bell knock, is it worth the debt? No regrets about the visas, because it's really all about the baby Jesus. Be free from all this holiday madness. Less traffic, a billboard that says, I wanna go track on wax featuring Matt Ruff. We get in motion plus a cow just in gas. Get the kids all the hottest game consoles, a big bag of nachos. Now, pronto, a beef for primo for my next record. Drop it on them like a pigeon when they least expect it. New style to flip, pass my old styles down to my kids. A new system in my whip. Send cards to bullies and ex-girlfriends. Keep making SI tracks to the world ends. Pair of hula hoop earrings for wifey. Bell bottoms to match the custom-made Nikes. Perform with George Clinton at a concert. Bring back Journey Big and a life supply of Converse. Jingle Bell, my Jingle Bell hip hop. Not to be confused with Double Dutch or Hopscotch. Got the beat that make you wanna break and go pop lock. Deck the halls and upload this on your new Xbox. 360 with more raps than a gypsy. Passing out more gifts than Saint Nicky. So break out the cookie slip Santa or Mickey. Mouse glass of milk before he come down the chimney. skipping Thanksgiving all year. Like, as soon as Halloween was over, right, people were ready to, you know, throw at the Christmas tree. I'm already on Valentine's Day. Um, see? I said, I'm a firm believer. I'm a firm believer. Well, I don't welcome to the Christmas tree uh, podcast. Uh, but no, I'm a firm believer in putting up your Christmas decorations the day after Black I Friday. I put mine up. Or the day after. You can do a Black Friday. Oh, I put mine up like two days before Thanksgiving. So I'm always the day after. Done. But it was already done after that. Uh, I guess. I, I can live with that. I'm just mad at the people that as soon as uh, they finish eating the candy from Halloween, they're like ready to throw up the uh, Christmas decorations. Bah, humbug. I don't know. What, what's wrong? <laughs> it's his inner demon. I, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, like I don't know. But so two days before Thanksgiving, I have no problem with I, I don't know if I hate it Justice League more than I hate it uh, thanks, uh, Christmas. You know what? I was going to do like a quick rundown real quick before we actually get to the show. One, the, the Punisher. What? Oh, the Punisher. Like tell me, that I'm was a great like show. i three episodes since. Oh, oh, that's it? Okay, I'm not going to do any spoilers. He does live, though. Sort of. Yes. He must, he must the die. Punisher like, lives. He dies like 90 times in one episode. Guys. Yeah. What? I don't um, know any of that. He stays alive. He's alive. Uh, but you I'm kinda, watching you have Doctor to know that. Strange right now. The movie? Yeah, I just didn't finish what? it because I fell asleep. 
That's a long movie, though. <laughs> you know, it's it's, it's, that's I, what, I was like an hour and 15 minutes in, and I was like, I got this. Well, two like, hours oh, is like the, the norm, isn't it, right? Like two-hour mm, movies? For, I mean, for Marvel, it is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> unless, I feel like Batman versus Superman. Unless you're Superman. Justice League or Batman versus Superman, it's like six hours. Yeah, that uh, was long. That was very You know what's funny? That the director's movie. cut is longer, but it feels faster. So there's um, a Punisher. What else? See, Punisher is great. Like well, anybody Punisher go check that on awesome. Netflix, please watch it. Um, I don't know if I like it more. I don't, I don't know which one I like more, Daredevil or The Punisher. I think The Punisher wins by like an inch. Just uh, a smidgen. Yeah, but at the same time too, Daredevil has two seasons. So Did I don't you know watch like fair. Jessica Jones? No. And then that other no. Okay. I'm not watching that or Iron Fist because I just Jessica too Jones many people. Good. Is it mm-hmm. yeah. too many people I know just tell me like don't bother. Don't Jessica to Jones was good. I'm gonna try that, and then I'm gonna hold you responsible if I don't like That's it. That's pretty right. good. Um. What else? Oh, Mace. First of all, I got to say this. Ooh. As far as music, Mace did the diss on Cam'ron, right, which uh, took me back. Murder Mace. But then, uh. on top of that, though, Cam, though. <laughs> murder Mace. Oh, my bad. Excuse me, Mr. Murder. Uh, but, no, Cam'ron did drop a, man, probably one of the hottest albums, low-key, of the year. The Project. That took me back to high school. Um, what else? Justice League. I agree with you. Justice League. I still got was to I? Just as legal as I, I seen it twice because I wanted to be fair. No, because the first time, cause, no, because the first time I saw it, that just seems like something you would do. It, yeah, what? Well, be extra. fair. No, be extra. No, because the first time I saw it, I the whole time I had it in my head this is gonna be Batman vs Superman two, and when it wasn't, I was pleasantly surprised. But then I'm like, okay, am I saying it's good because it's actually good, or am I saying it's good because it was better than that piece of crap? That they call Batman or Superman. Oh, that was terrible. So I went back to see it. You said that already last time, but yeah. I just want to reiterate. So I went back to see that twice. It was I. Right. Second time, I was not as impressed. Uh, it's like a couple scenes in it. It's like literally like two or three scenes in there was like, okay, that was dope. Other than that, yeah. Thor was great. Thor was great. I'm going to see Thor later today. So. Thor was great. It was great. a really good movie. Thor the was little great. rock thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> He was funny. <laughs> no, people, and it's funny because people hate the humor. People hate the humor. I love you know? it. It's I, like up, it's right up my alley. See, like, the thing about making movies, like they can't just make them specifically for comic book fans. They yeah. have to make them for people that are not into comics. Well, that's how I felt. A lot of those reshoots for Justice League War that uh, they went back and put in a lot of those jokes. Yeah, for people. Some of them didn't fit. It no. didn't land as. It didn't seem as. I agree with you. Fluid. Yeah, I I, I dug uh, Jason Momoa as Aquaman. Um, I like the fl- Cyborg and the Flash with the standouts to yeah, me. Yeah, I my problem. All right, my problem with Zack Snyder is he has all this money and he uh-huh. doesn't do effects right. I feel oh, like they're my God. so bad. If I had to nitpick anything about the movie, was the CGI. The CGI yeah. looked like something you would see from the early nineties. Yes, it was but, that bad. And Superman's suit looked like I made it. Like it was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so bad. Thought you like trying to do anything crafty. Exactly. Right? Like, just I imagine just me going to Frank's and terrible. just getting a bunch of fabric. Where? Frank's. Do, is that even that's open anymore? I, said, I don't even think, I don't that's think so. a place anymore. You See, that's I'm telling my, I'm showing my age. <laughs> Joanne Fabrics, go to, like, Michaels. Joanne's or Michaels. Okay, cool. But they there gave Zack Snyder. <laughs> well, meanwhile, Ranger's looking up. When did Frank's close? <laughs> <laughs> when did Frank's close? I'm more. I'm kind of interested. About ten years. Ten years. Oh wow. That tells you the last. That that shows you when was the last time I did anything art related. Do you remember what the last thing you did? I can't honestly remember. Maybe like a birdhouse out of popsicle sticks. I don't know. Like it's so so far. <laughs> a turkey made out of the trace in my hand. I don't it's know. the birdhouse slum. Yeah, you know, they, the birds are complaining. I know I'm a birdhouse slum lord. So far, Justice League is in the negative. They have not recouped what they put into that movie yet. That movie, I mean, first of all, I wouldn't even let Zack Snyder touch another movie. Zack Snyder was given $300 million for that movie. <sighs> Look, I mean, and and reason... not, nothing against Zack Snyder. I love Sin City. I love The Watchmen. 300. Yep. All these movies are great. But I feel like he needs to do something because uh, that final scene in Justice League yeah. was all sorts of bad. Oh, I agree. I, I agree. <laughs> um... I'm trying to th- did he do Man of Steel? Mm-mm. Who was that? Hold up, did he do Man of Steel? Was there a third movie or something, or we just had those couple? I just had those couple at the top well, of my head. Uh, yeah, well, there was Suicide Squad, which was David Ayer, which was oh, yeah, that was, that was trash too. Movie. That what? villain was no, yeah, horrible. No, Man of Steel was Zack, was Zack Snyder too. That was the only movie I give him. Man of Steel was great. You don't Other think than that, Suicide Squad was good. No, yeah. oh, I like no, it I, had his moments. It had oh, him, like yeah. Will Smith was great. Uh, I even like Viola Davis as her character. Um, the villain, it's like. 
Yeah, really? It's <laughs> oh yeah, the, it, there it goes with <laughs> like, just terrible CGI. All man. right, well, <laughs> oh, man, I'm like, this. like at some point when you when if you're watching a movie and the only takeaway you can take out of it is well, you know, I, this is some pretty good popcorn. Like that tells you that this is... <laughs> well, at least is, they have the freestyle Coke machine. I know, like, I do, all right. <laughs> I, at least I get a refill. You know, like, dude, like, it's... Like, if that's the only bright spot out of going to the movies that day was, uh, the movie probably sucked. So, uh, anyway... Technically, we have Punisher on Netflix. Yes, Netflix, man. Thank God for that, man, because now I don't have to leave my house nor really pay for anything outside of $7. Or even put on pants. There you go. That's I only put on pants to come be, here, just so you guys know. I believe you. And I thank you. I have you. no hard time believing I really, you. really thank you. And I really put them on on the elevator on the way in, so. I believe you, too. Mm-hmm. Nothing you said just now, I didn't really have to question. Uh, I, <laughs> uh, anyway, I guess we should introduce. Yeah, uh, what's this called? Where are Yeah, you? no, where are we? Okay, so in case you're just fumbling around YouTube, you come across our show. This is so, the Sneaker Box Podcast. podcast. I am. What? Fire Stick Podcast. The fi- yeah, no, really. <laughs> This is a this is just a collage. This is a hodgepodge of podcasts. Um, but anyway, I am your host, the African Caesar. All hail Caesar, emperor, emperor of Rome, monarch of the Roman Empire, ruler of the world. Hail Caesar! Hail Caesar! Hail Caesar! Hail Caesar! Hail Caesar! Hail no, no, no. They don't know. Nope, nope, nope. I must be praised all 365 days of the year. Uh, <laughs> no, then, ju- no I just read something. Justice League was the second most expensive film ever made. What was the first one? Uh, Avatar, I think. That movie's trash, too. I'm sorry. I really don't think that movie is worth the, I didn't uh, want to interrupt. No, Pirates. The <laughs> Honor. Pirates of the Caribbean. That's not being good after the second one. Yep, so not giving the third one. third one, I think, was... I... Anyway, the guy talking to me, looking up all these stats, is Francis Three. Looking good, Francis. Well rested. Like you've been pitching, not catching. Whose music is this? I was gonna say this is some B-list wrestler. I, this doesn't sound like anybody. NXT. This doesn't sound like main event music to me, right? This, this is some NXT music right here. NXT dope. This Sunday Night Heat like music it. right here, like this. <laughs> This Saturday night shotgun right here. <laughs> I'm showing my age again because nobody remembers those shows whatsoever. I do. Do you? I know you do. Um, and then, last but not least, we have the lady of the show, the sneaky girl. How's business? Booming. Like. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Benjamin I tried to kicks. get some Yeezys today. Did that you? Didn't work out oh, those came out today, didn't they? Yeah, the ones that look decent. Yeah. Here's uh, to the yellow ones. Did you see the, how many came r- out? Relatively speaking. I, still couldn't, I, don't wear, <gasps> I wear four. Oh, yeah, that's right. So they don't make that many. Oh, wow. So, anybody, I'm PayPal ready if you got a size four. Oh, Benjamin Kicks. Oh, what are you doing? I mean, I know y'all like not in talking terms right now, but this would <laughs> definitely get you back in good, uh, her good graces. I, 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 I implore you. Um, anyway, this is the Sneaker Boss Podcast with Sneaker Buddy Trey, a part of the Crepe Tech family. What's the point of spending all that money on your shoes if you're not going to keep them clean long enough to get your money's worth? Practice safe stunt and go to CrepeTech.com and get your shoes some protection. Also, make for, uh, make sure to follow us on Instagram or social media. Uh, start with Instagram. You can follow us at the Sneaker Box underscore podcast. You can follow us on Twitter at the Sneaker Box underscore. And then you can follow us on Facebook by simply looking up the Sneaker Box podcast page. And if you'd like to talk to us live, uh, you can call us at toll free 888 uh, If you got the uh, stories that you want us to read on air, if you work in retail, uh, you can email us or slide in our DMs. Uh, but probably be better to email us because I know like Instagram has like a cap on how many characters you can use. Uh, it's TSB oh, at SneakerBuddyTrade.com. Yeah. You're the only one that would know that because you're the only one that types that many things. Man, Instagram. I'm wordy, I man. Like, I got a lot to say. To be like, have a great day. Like, you like, so what happened today was. <laughs> See, I mean, I like to be thorough. It was I like to be detailed. degrees and. People love it. People love it. Oh, my God. Who is this again? What was your wrestling name? Uh, what was my wrestling name? Yeah. Okay, I gotta admit, in high school, like I was like really into like Stone Cold. That was my dude. So like I was, I, in my mind, I was like the Black Stone Cold. Like that was me. Now 
If I had to make up something, I don't know. African Caesar sounds like a really good name. Come back it. <laughs> I mean, really, like I mean, I don't know what my music would sound like, but yeah, I would just come out dressed like a Caesar and just, I guess. Have I you ever stepped foot in a wrestling ring? <laughs> yes. Ooh, that's a tough. Your music would be a, a cacophony of tribal drums. I don't even know what cacophony is. It's a loud, preposterous noise. I was gonna say, like, noise. if it's good, I'm there. Cacophony. I didn't say it was good. I just said it was you. Now, see, if I use too many words, you use too many big words. Because you could have just said loud noises. But you <laughs> he said cacophony. Too but I meant cacophony. I? Yeah. You use big words? Mm hmm. Uh, well, by mistake. Trust me, I did not know I was going to use them when I used them. When he does, it's erroneous. Cacophony. Yeah, it's, see? Cacophony. Erroneous. God. Cacophony. Uh, it's not spelled how I thought it was. How's it spelled? C A C O P H. That's how I would spell it. How would you spell it? Well, look at you, college. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's from her high school upbringing. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you know we're uh, we're like twenty minutes we, in. We have the same alma mater. Did no, you know that? Uh, mention uh, Yeezys. Did you know that? Oh, we did mention Yeezys. What's that? We have the same alma mater. What? Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, high school or college? High school. Okay, I was about to say we going like this is our last show at the studio. Uh, I don't <laughs> high school. How's Michigan go to? Today? Yes, they do. Go blue. They're gonna put them beat down on Ohio. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Good luck with that. Ohio. Yeah. Take that, Buckeye. Uh, what high school did you go to? Uh, it's called Andover. Man, where's that? At? It sounds like a West High School. Bloomfield. Ooh. Ooh, man, wow. You, were, you learn words like cacophony. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but after we left, they, no, that explains they a tore lot the school you. down. Yeah, they That's tore all. the school down. Did they? Because they no she went there, there was like the year yeah, after that, she no, left. Yeah, no, they did. I graduated. <laughs> you, she sounds so proud of it. They're like, yeah, they did. Like, How did you know? Um, <laughs> booming. <well>, yeah. <laughs> business was not booming if they didn't knock it down. No, they How's built business? Them. Oh, even bigger school? Expensive school, yeah. Oh, my God. It is on the ashes of the old school. <laughs> it's yeah. built this. I understand they have uh, gold-plated toilets there. Yeah. I believe it. It's, and, it's uh, Bloomfield. Yeah, I believe in, I was going to say In the class ring, right, everyone on. gets a free class ring, and it's diamond encrusted. That and sounds about right. It's really nice. It's looking like a Cleveland Cavaliers championship ring. Anyway. And, and, all I got, <laughs> and all I got in high school was harassed by gang squad, so, I mean. <laughs> See, right. Oh, my God. Oh, you were so lucky. Isn't, like, Okan so County, like, one of the. many backgrounds here. Isn't this great? Isn't this great? Like the richest county, like one of the top ten richest counties there. in the Oakland country. County is in the top five wealthiest counties in the nation. Yeah, that makes sense. So, and ooh, you got to go to school there. Yeah. That explains a lot about you now. Now I feel like I know more about you now. You make a lot of sense. Does it explain much about me? No, you're white. So I mean, that's oh. just, that's kind of. <laughs> I just kind of assume white? going in. Like, okay, when did that happen? Like he has Never money. Noticed. He has money. Uh, all right, the Sneaker Boss Fab Five releases from the previous week. The Fab Five. Fab Five. The Fab Five. The Fab Five. The Fab Five. Top Five. Top Five. Top Five. So it in my dream. Five, five, five. Oh yeah, what's up? She, oh, she's got to have it. It's on Netflix. Have you have you started watching that? No, but I heard to watch it. I know. I, I I'm gonna give it a sh- joint. I'm gonna check it out. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> why? 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 I'm so sorry to Spike Lee. Why? You got the blasphemous. Did we be putting up the votes? Yes, yes. We um put the shoes up for a vote. So I have nothing to do with the shoes on this list. I know you guys it's been voted. so great since we switched over. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, number five. Well, I actually thought this would be higher with twenty nine votes. God, get out of here. Air Jordan Retro Eleven Eris Black Stain Gray. That should have been number one. I, I, I you know what I know. All our female listeners are going crazy right now. Okay, that's fine. Maybe a lot the... of them just didn't vote because I didn't vote. So. I know. I mean, I will say, you know, because it depends on the picture got posted, and this got posted like around Thanksgiving, so people probably doing other things yeah. other than being on Instagram. That's true. Uh, that's fair. Yes. Yeah, so oh, yeah. great shoe. Uh, you know, definitely deserves to be in the top five. Yeah. Now, the only thing I would say, no. I'm just saying, if I had to nitpick, right, it is the cut of the stingray because I, I would if. I'm one of you, uh, a girl. Oh, I would be. I would want it to be the same OG cut as they're starting to put on the other ones. Do those come in a size 15? Or no, 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 no. Just no. checking. Nope. Uh, and then the outsole. I'm not a big fan of black translucent outsoles, but you know, 
Neither here nor there. I just feel like you could see the most beautiful woman in the world and be like, yeah, but like her eyebrows a little crooked. No, no, no. What, what are you talking about? He is with the most beautiful woman in the world. See. There you go. Oh my god. But that's uh, what, but that's what I'm saying. Like you just be like, Camille, yeah. call just, trust me, me I have a call list me, of baby. Points. No. Trust me when I tell you. Oh, no, come on, come on, Camille, call me. Yeah, call him. Like I. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, I mean, no, I like the shoe. It's a great I, shoe. It's a good. Did you get him? On the way. Okay, they're in the mail. On the way. Allegedly. Uh, <laughs> number four, we have the Air Jordan Thirty Two. Why not? Like that's what I'm saying. I'm surprised. What? This got thirty three votes. The rest of the shoes. Yeah. I mean, that's me okay. It's okay. No, no, no. I'll pull it up. I mean, I see why it's called the Why Not. <laughs> oh, wow. That actually hurt me. I, no, I, I, I didn't like, mean it like that. I just I f- meant like it's the name of the shoe is in the inside of the tongue. But I guess if you take it that way, as in. Well, this is based on. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. It's, it's based on uh, Russell Westbrook. You know, got the OKC colors. This is more of his PE that actually got released. The what? His PE player exclusive. No, oh, which these are cool. That? Yeah. yeah. I like the 32s. Are nice. Actually, I might go after these. I'm going to be is in that Chicago. Is on the top? Yeah. Yeah, those are nice. I'm actually going to be in Chicago tomorrow. If you were good at basketball, I feel mm-hmm. like you could wear those when you play. See, that sounded like a backhanded compliment. Like, I swear. Like, See, that, she's the queen of that. If there was everything that, like, Sticky Girl's good at, uh, it would be <laughs> backhanded like compliments. Like, if you could play basketball. First of all, I can't. Well, I haven't played in two years. But <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Everything I say is true. Like, that's no. the, the moral of the story is that these oh, are my true God. things. Oh, my God. Facts. I'm getting nauseous. Uh, but, no, I wouldn't back our legend Francis. first off. Do you like those? No. No. I like the fly net. It, now, if this is an Air Force One, he would love it. Mm. He would love this shoe if it's an Air Force One. You got fly net Air Force Ones, don't you? I do. See? <laughs> Point proven. Uh, number three, the Air Jordan Retro One. Well, this one got 40 votes. I should guess I should say. The Why Not's got 33 votes. This next shoe got 40 votes on Instagram. That is the Air Jordan Retro One High OG Respect. Ooh. I love those, actually. Like, uh, what do they say on them? They say a bunch of respectful things, like <laughs> fearless. And <laughs> a bunch of platitudes. Come to my room, baby. And uh, Oh, you look is, so beautiful. I don't know, like, Why not tonight? Um, those those are the... Uh, I, <laughs> I just thought I would those are the Barry White Ranger that. shoes. Those are the Barry White Ranger shoes? I can only imagine what the words would say on your shoe. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, man, Vicodin. Come um, back to my room, baby. No, I'm not a senator, oh but I'll goodness. touch you anyway. I feel, oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> but, no, I love this shoe, actually. I tried to, matter of fact, yeah, we were in the studio last week. I got to say this. Like, why would you come up with a size 14, skip yeah. the next three sizes, yeah, and then come on to 18? Because okay. that's the st- Been there, doesn't I, I, I know. I'm the only person that has to wear a size 15 in the studio, so nobody cares but me Exactly. About Just my like shoes. you told that homeless man when he tried to talk to you. Nobody cares. What? <laughs> I made you See. sound like a bad person. I know, right? Like, but that's, once again, this is a true statement. Like, no. this is what really happened. Well, that I'm a bad person? Or that no, I said? that you told that homeless man nobody Cause cares. Because I wasn't down there for that. I was not down there to improve your quality of life. I was down there for Sneaker Con and the Waffle House. And what? I was not down there. What would Jesus do? I mean, there's a lot of things Jesus no, could do that I can't. I think we should just keep the next one on the list. When I can walk the on water, I might care. Uh, number, number two, we have the Dornbrecker. This has 73 votes, by the way. Well, first of all, I just want to thank my Lord and Savior up above. Thank you, Jesus! Uh, 73 votes on Instagram. We have the Dornbrecker. Nike Air More of Tempo. I don't think these are number one for me, but once again, I'm not control of what goes on the list and what doesn't. Uh, but, you I know, just fe- what? On, you just feel what? Go ahead and say it. I just feel like it's not a grown-up shoe. <laughs> like, are are Dornbeckers cool. ever? I know, I know they're are not. Dornbeckers like, ever grown-up But sometimes, shoes. like, the seven, like, it's more toned down. Like, just I'm not things. a puppet. I'm but a real boy. Like, primary colors. Like, I don't, I don't know. But, I mean, it's a cool shoe, though. It just looks yeah. young. Yeah. That's uh, all. That's it? Like, some grown men won't wear this shoe. I will. There is grown men wearing them. Yeah. I know there are, but I'm just saying some will not. I, I oh, like the... that's attractive. I like the, the Wonder Woman ones, the ones that did different auction. Those are kind of dope. No, I'm, Speaking of auctions... What? Did What's that up? shoe ever go back up? 
was shoe. With the high shipping on it. The, no, that no, one. that one shoe. No, yeah, that I don't one, think it did. the actual one shoe. Yeah. I don't think oh it yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I'll the shipping right was the uh, deal breaker. I doubt it. So this was number two. This was number two. Okay. I'm, I'm actually surprised by that, but because these were my number ones. Um, and but you don't pick anymore, so I know. Yeah. Damn. And I, like, I'm glad I didn't, because then you'd have been on my head about this one. Like, why did this make it on the yeah, list? Yeah, I, I respect the people. But you don't like this shoe. You I, wouldn't. No, you wouldn't I get don't. it. You wouldn't wear these. I'm telling you, baby, that's not mine. That's a sticky girl trying to convince people she doesn't have any up tempos. What? I don't think so. No. It's cool. It's just not for me, but it's cool. If anybody in the studio can get away with wearing that shoe, it'd be you. Because I'm you sure. You call me a child. No, it, I'm just, it won't look bad in your. Size. No, I was gonna say like yeah, nobody would. Yeah, it'd be cute. But You're like a girl a size and 15, you're small. Fifteen, like I just don't see it working mm. out too well. Size fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> I just. Man, oh man, I can't wait for when is our next road trip. Um, I don't know TBD. Yeah, no January. Hey. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god. Okay, number one. <laughs> that drummer is trying to get paid. Like, geez. Oh my god. The Astro Boy and Bait Special Francis. Edition Deodora I, Collection. I this, like these Deodoras. I these, just see you. These Where got you? 75 votes on Instagram. Yeah, these are dope. I like the black. We obviously got a lot of Astro Boy fans. I think it's super cool. I've never seen Astro Boy. Just so anybody knows. Like I've never well, seen Astro Boy. Once again, like even... in a size 15, like I just don't see that working out too well. Uh, well the the black those. ones. No, I, like I think I can get away with the black ones. Francis can wear those. I like those. Right, I think I can get away with the black I mean, ones. The yeah, white I might have swapped. Like, I would have. What order would you have put these shoes in then? Well, uh, okay, if it was my personal out of the five that we picked, I would go with. Let me see. Astro Boy would probably be number five. The Why Nuts would probably still be a number four. The uh, Retro Ones would start, probably still be a number two. Uh, the Eris would be number, no, the Ones would be three. The Eris Elevens would be two. And then the Dawn Breakers would be number one. If that was I my person. do those Ones as number five. Okay. Um, number four would be the 32s. Number three would be the Astros. Number two would be the Uptempos. And number one would be the Elevens. That's not a bad list. There was a one on that list? That yeah. one with all the words on it. Yeah. Oh, I already forgot about it. That's why I put it at the I'm bottom. Kidding. <laughs> That's why I put it at the bottom. Oh, my God. <laughs> and that about rest up our show today. Uh, see you next week. When... I totally forgot about that one already. I was like... <laughs> That's what I said. That's why I put it at the bottom. I didn't I remember it until he said it, and I, I was like, oh, I should put I don't that re- in I don't respect God. that one. You don't? <laughs> no. You don't respect it. Nope. All right, guys. All right, see you. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> word of the day for Jumpin' Boston. Uh, ugly respect. Sh- <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> I'm on a roll. Respect those shoes. I know Jumpin', Call he's calling butter. in right now. Call me butter. He is angry. Yeah. He has, right now, Jumpin' has listened to the show with uh, the Arnold Fist. <laughs> Was, is that his name? Man, it looks Ooh. nice. Remember the there. fist, the little cartoon make fist? Make they had taco bell. <laughs> the, the, ah, God, Julian won't remember. Like, LeBron just posted it not too long ago. Arthur, the Arthur Fist. Oh, he went to that concert. He yeah. got on the hat. Yep, yep. Ooh, Ooh, Julian. Now, how is he able to, like, no, no, he can't be going to concerts and doing our show. You got to pick one. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's Julian at the concert. He, had good, he got such great seats. Uh, English release of the week. Super ugly. Yes. Super ugly. We have the Adidas <laughs> Yeezy 350 Boost V2 Semi Frozen Yellow. This First of all, not votes, right? Huh? This is not no, votes. this is me. This is, this this is, is me. Caesar. I will keep control this of that. Is, this is Caesar. Nah. Those I mean, are I personally trash. do not like this color. Like, that's fine, but I just feel like there's still uglier shoes. No, oh, no there's nothing right. uglier than that shoe. Okay, that's That gross. shoe in any color is pretty much trash. But Whoa. Thanks, this I'm color. Wearing them, but that's gray. Are you? Yeah, she is. Not those. But they're not super ugly. Like, no, they're, those, those are not super like ugly. Those are not super ugly, but those are. Like, that color, I mean, the shoe itself, like I said, it's not going to get too much credit from me, but then you give it that colorway. So stay tuned, guys, the next time you can vote on the super ugly. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I'm keeping. You need some form of control. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, if I, I can't control the sci fi, I'm definitely going to control whatever this is. I, I honestly, I don't, I don't know. I don't get what people see in this. Like, 
I, I don't know. Somebody, can somebody explain to me why Yeezys are so high? Other than they're limited, they're comfortable. They're not even limited anymore. They're Those not ones, limited. The ones that dropped today, today they said there were a lot of them. The one, one store got. All right, what's a lot? One store got 156 pairs. Like that's not a lot. That is a lot. That's a lot. For, for one, one store? store, for one physical store, yeah. yeah, a store usually gets. And they're all in size 14. <laughs> he doesn't care. No. But no, like the shoe itself, like I I think it's comfortable. Like I think it's a nice shoe in the right colors. Like I buy it. Like I want to buy the ones today. Like that's it. But I don't like those. But I'm not gonna call them super ugly because like I still like the silhouette of the shoe. No, that's true. Look, you can have a uh, look, here's the thing. It could be an ugly shoe. I you feel can like an the analogy silhouette. coming on. No, I was saying you can like the silhouette, but not like the colorway. Sometimes the colorway can make a shoe ugly. Once again, I go back to the Reebok questions. Reebok questions are one of my favorite shoes. But this I think it was the sneakers and stuff. They came out with that green and orange colorway with the suede. Those are trash to me. Those are horrible. But Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. I guess the shoe's named Otis. <laughs> These are the Otis Yeezys. <laughs> like, but no, I, honestly, it just looked like somebody took some belugas and just dipped them in urine. And just like, all right, well, here yeah, you go. Uh, yeah. There you go. Have fun. So, uh, no. It was kind of just lazy on the design part. but I agree. So, I mean, uh, did anybody? So, uh, no, those are trash. Huh? Those are trash. Thank you. So, why are we arguing? No, I don't like Nobody, the color. I was, that's, what he, that's what I said. Yeah, I don't so like the color. Technically, we're all on the same page. Yeah. You just have the most hate. For the model. Yeah, you just have. Because it's not hate. that great. Because I, I, you know I like the model, but I think that, that color is trash. Do you, you know try why? to start debates when there's not a debate? In no, the I'm just saying head. because everybody, because I know if this shoe wasn't a Kanye West shoe, and if it was just like a just a regular Adidas shoe, this shoe would be sitting on the shelves. Yeah, but probably we know so. That already. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just want to be. No, we on the same page then. Mm. But they look comfortable. I've not, I don't have a pair of three fifties yet. You they know. are comfortable. Nah, I had a pair of seven fifties, but my I, ankle was. So I've bad. heard they were comfortable. I guess I give them that. I mean, yeah. despite me not having worn a pair and probably never will, uh, but they come in at fifteen. Yeah, I'm not. But it's, I've seen the prices. I wouldn't pay retail for them, let alone the resale price. But that's just me, though. Mm, retail, I don't know. Like they seem. I mean, I, they're a sock on a sole, essentially. So two twenty is high. But mm, I don't know. We uh, got people spending over two hundred for some Jordans, though, all day. Uh, I think we should just. No, we should what? Just move on. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, so I'm going to leave this short. No I'm not going to bully. I was buying There's time no while he clicked, clicked, clicked over there. Oh, we'll be back. I thought he was ready. No, he was If you want to make sure your shoes look just as fresh as when they came out the box, practice safe stunting and go to crepprotect.com and get your shoes some protection. This is the real Ray Ray 20, and you're listening to the Sneaker Box podcast on Sneaker Bar Detroit. Yo, what's good? This is Bullet RC, and you're listening to the number one sneaker show, the Sneaker Box podcast on sneakerbardetroit.com. <laughs> Oh my god! Like I'm already starting to hate this drop. Uh, it's Small Business Saturday. Yay! yay. Hooray! Uh, do we count? <laughs> small business. I don't, I don't like, do we do we mean. fit into that criteria? Uh, hey, Sneaker Bar Detroit's having a sixty percent off all apparel sale. Yes. Yes, Sneaker Bar Detroit. Yes. So I guess that would count since we're selling merchandise. Uh, even though it's called Black Friday sale and it's Saturday. Exactly, and I can't fit none of this. Yeah, stuff I was gonna say shout out to them because I can't fit any of I know. stuff. Thanks, Mario. Well, we do, we do count as a small business. Any advertisers that want to come on the show, we are a small business. That is and true. we would welcome your uh, your sponsorship of the program. See, that, that's why we, see, that's why White Ranger is so vital. Uh, but anyway, uh, we got a bunch of shoes that are coming on in the future have no set release dates. We can kind of just go through them. Uh, we have the Nike Air Vapormax Plus Purple Sky. And I think I kind of went on this last week where I'm just tired of them just taking silhouettes and throwing them on different outsoles. If a Martian was a shoe... Yes, I agree. Like this. Yeah, this looks like something you will find in Superman spaceship. Uh, these are, I, I'm just over it. I'm just over the rehashing of old ideas. Like, can we get something new? Like, I do like the Vapor Max overall. I do like that. That's new. But you don't have to come out with every Nike silhouette ever made with the Vapor Max bottle. It doesn't have to be done. Let's just three one three. Francis. <laughs> you know, it was the trash. Oh, thank you. 
Thank you for that he contribution. He had to ponder on it. Really. I know he had to think about it. I, I know he had to let it sink in for a second. I was writing something down. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not. I don't know. And then the colorway is not. It leaves nothing to be desired. Honestly, uh, I've seen better. Maybe if they were like black. No. But then it's just. No, I know it's so dumb. Sometimes uh, you just gotta let stuff go. This next shoe. Uh, shout out to Brandon Rogers. Cause shout I out swear. to Brandon Rogers. Um, because I swear he was a, you know, he had a custom made. Now, in talking to him, he was saying that he had the person that did the customs had heard this was coming out, and so they did their own iteration of it. Um, but the first person I saw was Brandon Rogers as a custom, and now they're actually coming out with it. And honestly, it is just the black toe with a red toe box, like it's. And a black tongue. The black tongue. I know. Wow, man. They they really stepping Some, out of their comfort zone. Someone at Nike's making that check, uh, earning it right now. I know. Uh, <laughs> that um, leather looks nice, though. Yeah, I was gonna say. If anything, uh, I mean, and you know, I'm talking all this stuff, and guess what? I'm probably gonna get this shoe. Yeah. I'm talking I mean, mad trash right now, and yet I will be first in line. To unless get this they shoe. stop that 14 and pick and go right to 18. Night. Yeah. yeah. That might be the only way I get blocked from getting them. And they'll just have you between a rock and a hardship. Yeah. But I, amazing. <laughs> that is so amazing. Uh, but no, I mean, Sticky Girl, I mean, what's your thoughts on it? What's I need the, to, like, it, it doesn't look, I need to see it. Like, I, do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. This just looks like, it's just, I don't know. It looks like a, br- I, mean, I mean, it's a band I mean, it with a cool. white I just side to, panel. What is that? Is that a material right there? That's what I'm kind of confused. It looks like they try to give it that same. <laughs> it's not like any shoe they do in this scheme, they're going to give like some type of shattered backboard leather quality. But I'm talking about the white right there. Yeah. That's is what that I mean. just the lighting? Like, it's yeah, leather. it's like supposed to be like but heavy. But it looks like wool from where I'm at. Like, I, I can't yeah, see it. Yeah, the picture. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I don't know if that's a better picture. I mean, picture. I don't love it, but I, I think people will love it. I'm not mad at it. I just, <laughs> I don't know. I, if the people will buy it. Honestly, if they came out with these first, like when they decided to come back out with the Air Jordan 1, and they came out with these first, I would not have a problem. But now that I've seen 511 versions of a Chicago Black Toe band, I'll, top I'll pick three, them up for under retail. Like it's, I don't know somebody probably just give them to you for free. Like I mean, <laughs> do you pay for anything? Yes, sometimes. I, I just feel like nothing. I don't. I don't feel like you ever pay for anything. I'm trying to think. I paid for Justice League last night. And you're not happy about no. it. No, <laughs> I went out yesterday and I didn't spend one dollar. Well, if, good for you. Yeah. That's actually a that is a milestone for you. Uh, I guess I should ask this real quick before we get to the rest of our list. Like, did anybody do anything for Black Friday? Like, <laughs> or did you I, hear I, anything? I co- like I stayed on my couch like all day. Did you? And I watched TV, and then I like ordered some pizza. Oh, nice. And then I, I like I had some stuff in my cart on my phone, and, but I never bought it. I went out for a TV and how'd that go? I I quickly changed my mind and bought a peppermint <laughs> pop cocoa and left. Wait, did you? <laughs> <laughs> What? It don't sound like you're committed to that, really. No. Nah, well, <laughs> it was it was real effed up because when I went, uh, they had one of the TVs left that I wanted, and there was, like, some old lady looking at it on the phone with somebody. So I just walked by and started dragging it away. Wow. <laughs> I can wow. hear him through the glass. I know. <laughs> well, I, I had it reset. You brought the sound barrier in the studio. <laughs> I had it set already in my mind that I wasn't going to stand in that line. But I, I just walked around the store, and I saw her looking at it. And she was on the phone with somebody looking at it. So I just, like, walked around and, like, grabbed a little handle on the side of it and just dragged it off. Oh, my God. I just I hit it in another and, aisle, but I just dragged it off in front of her. And part of me oh, feels like you funny. are so proud of yourself right now, too. Like, that's that's the thing I'm, I got, I'm struggling with. You feel like with. you got a little joy out of it. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I did. Like, yeah, I, she, it shows demons. <laughs> yeah, she didn't. You should have saw the look on her face. She didn't know what just happened. Like, Who would? <laughs> you just see your TV just slotting away. Only thing that would have been funnier is if instead of you dragging it away, it was like a, a, a colony of ants, <laughs> and it was a picnic basket, and it just like started just shifting away from. Yeah, very, I just very nonchalantly walked over and I just grabbed, just dragged it. I didn't oh even pick it; I just drug it. Oh my god! Is it drug or dr- drug? Is that drug the it? Yeah. And then I just I, I hit it and I went to Starbucks. You hit it? Yeah, I hit it in like one of. Oh, the you hit? Yeah, okay. I hit it. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Is Enough, I'm old? typing. Was she old? Yeah, she was older. Huh. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, and then I you just... don't know what kind of state her mind was in, like when she thought it just disappeared. No. Yeah, that, that poor old lady. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and anyway, then, and then I was just with the Starbucks and left. Uh, another shoe that's supposed to be coming out next year is the Christmas drink. Peppermint. Peppermint. Uh, yeah, I peppermint. like the caramel brulee latte. Oh, what did you do, uh, I know you did something. Yeah, I, um, I went to the mall kind of late yesterday. Which and mall did you go to? Um, the fancy one in Troy, Michigan. Somerset? We'll just leave it at that. Or yeah, so okay, Somerset. Collection? So, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I went to some of the finer stores. Oh, you were on the nice side. Yeah, you was on the south side, right? <laughs> no, I was on the north side. I thought the south side was uh, like where all the, like, Tiffany. The whole place is nice. What well, can I, was, I say? Yeah, I was going to say <laughs> But, you know, the long and the short of it is that I um, found the most attractive young sales model, and I asked her to try on some clothes that I was going to buy for my niece. Oh, my God. Of course, I don't have a niece. <laughs> so, uh, Where's the story going? But I did get three phone numbers. Did you get any new jackets or anything, or you get those custom made? I get those custom made. I do have a new one that I'm going to get ordered uh, probably next week. Ooh. So I got, got a guy heading over. He's going to pick it up for me. There's two things about that story. What did I tell you about going to the kids' foot locker and having people try stuff on? Ugh. Second thing. It was the uh, children's it, shop, <laughs> and it was at a store that starts with N. Secondly. What? What store is this? I know. Too. All those phone numbers that you got, Troy detectives don't count. So just. I know. They're all hotlines. <laughs> what are you telling me? <laughs> it was a cry for help. You're, you're kind of was. ruining my, my Black Friday here. Like every number started with 800. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, they were only three-digit numbers. It was nine one one. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> he he, he quickly geez. turned Black Friday into Blackout Friday. Yeah, I know. He doesn't that remember anything that. He just remember showing up at the mall. And nice they made glass of bourbon, out. a fine Cuban cigar, and mm, I wonder. What, I know. I was going to ask you. Like, I mean, Some I wonder what a Black mean. Friday sale at the stores you go to is like. Like at the the cigar store. I thought you were talking like, about Noir Leather. No. <laughs> I do not shop at Noir Leather. I have all my stuff custom made. Oh, my goodness. Uh, That's a shame. Now I don't know what to get you for Christmas. You can always surprise me. Oh, you're going to be surprised. I'm sure I will. I'm not even sure I want to know. Remind me to tell you about a friend of mine who was buying stuff for his wife in Germany one time years ago. Uh, It's another... It's it's another story you're going to have after the show. All right. uh, We got the Off-White Nike Air Vapor Max. Oh, this is supposed to be purple. What am I doing? We got a purple version. You just imagine this one purple. <laughs> oh yeah, we could. Uh, let me I, guess. Will it say air on it? You know, it will. It's gonna have all that stupid stuff on there. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Will it have an orange tab there for no reason? Man, I'm telling you. Did you see Burger King? <laughs> Did you see Burger King troll them? Oh yeah, with the tag on. The yeah, on the Whopper. Sauce. It said bun. It was kind of trendy. I thought yeah, it was. I'm just, cool. I'm just so over it. They just gave Virgil an idea. There's about the I just feel like that's the most pretentious right. shoe, and I, I'm I'm mad that everybody's calling those the uh, the shoe of the year, the off white Air Jordan one. Those if those are your shoe of the year, you should have your car revoked. Hey, is that on that uh that SAT stack that you emailed over? No, yeah, they are. Like I gave you the option, but it's not okay. I can't find the purple version. Let me take a guess. They're like the white ones, but purple. And honestly, yeah, amazing. It's okay. just, just imagine the white ones, but it's all purple. It's the same shoe. You know, a bunch of like half done design that I guess that's supposed to be his thing. You see this? It's to be under construction. You actually printed it out? I thought about printing it because I don't it's pay easier. for printing. Is it? I'm going to do it. need to write all over. I'm going to okay. do it tomorrow. Yeah. I need it by like next you just weekend. You double sided? I'm sorry, what? I need no, it by I next weekend. Paper, paper, ink. I don't care. I, I guess I should have prefaced that. I, sh- I need it by next weekend. Like I can bring it on Saturday. Yeah, I'm just gonna highlight. Okay. Stuff. Uh, this is the next shoe. I'm over this one too. Do one color for like ones I know for sure, and then your backups in a different color. I gotta go steal highlighters now. We got the. Uh, Thank you, Jesus. The, <laughs> we got the Nike Mamba Rage. These are kind of cool. Are they? Yeah. Really? Go Bucks. Honestly, I haven't thought about what a Kobe. Buck, I just said go Bucks. Oh, oh man, so. cut it out. I haven't thought about a Kobe since the nine. No, wait. I'm being the 10. The 10 was probably the last one I would actually spend my hard earned money on. Like, other than that, I've been over them. I've been over the, the ADs. I know I'm over these. Uh, I've been over the 11s because they look just like the 9s with a different out. So, um, I don't know, man. I just feel like Nike felt obligated to make a Kobe shoe, but they don't really effort. care. Be for effort. 
B for effort. Yeah. I'm not even giving them that much. I just feel like I'm Nike is like I know. Well, I just feel like Nike is like well, we gotta come out with a shoe for Kobe, so uh, just throwing these. Uh, That's fine. I know Molly's probably. But I feel like somewhere. he has all this free time. Like he could really help if he wanted to. Who me? Kobe. Oh yeah, he <laughs> does all this. Like, I don't think Kobe cares anymore. To be honest, probably not. I don't even think he think he's over it himself. So, but uh, I mean, it's decent. Like, if you if that's what you like, they just starting to look the same. They got that they same look. look. Same. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's like well, I, I don't know. I'm over it. Uh, shout out to the ATL. This next shoe, you, you got the Nike Air More Up Temple ATL. Just when I was saying I was, that's actually really cool. I was gonna say like I that's pretty cool. was like I'm the so letters over. fit on there very nice. Like I I like that. Yeah, Francis, I, I dig them. I was over I the cool. uh, tempos last week, but yeah, but that's different. It's, yeah, I agree. Letters on it. It's <laughs> I mean, it's the same, right? It's the same shoe essentially. But I will still, I, if I had the opportunity to get them, I would. We need a D E T. Yeah, we I'm do. I'm sure it's in the works. That could fit on there. Yeah, yeah, it could. A lot of them could. It's, it says City Pack, so there's gonna be a New York. The D E T would be pretty cool. Yeah, well, what colors would it Lions be? Lions colors, like. Okay. What? So no, blue with black letters. Why? Why is Atlanta uh, green and gold? That's what I was looking at. I think it was like the. I think it's still a, a homage to the Olympics. Because it look. It looks like it. It looks like. Uh, yeah, the '96 Olympics. Oh. You sound disappointed. It's just random. <sighs> I feel like if we get a Detroit one, it's going to be terrible. They're going to mess it up somehow. I, if it's like a blue base with black letters and white trim. Or even. I'm there. Yeah. Like Honolulu Blue. Or like black and... Or like... Either one. I feel like. Maize and yellow. Yes. Well, maize and yellow. <laughs> maize and yellow is the same color. <laughs> God. He's sucking me in with the maize. I, I stopped in. I, I was going to see I stared right at him, too. He was like, yeah. I'm like, Does it took a second for it to register. Like, yeah, so, wait, wait. <laughs> God, that yeah, you know what I meant though. That was yeah. good. Yeah, that was good. Kudos to you. That, that was that a was one. That, that I was one for the year. You had to get he it probably, out. He probably thought about that a lot. Just like, it's gonna haunt me. I'm gonna listen back to the show and just. He had to go look up the colors cringe. to make sure he said it right. <laughs> I knew the colors. I know they're amazing blue. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. If they come out amazing blue, uh, up tempo. Yeah, I'm there for that too as well. I wish they would come out with the kill. Like I know it's just an artist rendering of it, but if they come out with a Kill Bill version. I'm there for that one too. And then that's it. I'm done with the up tempos, I swear. Uh, next shoe, we got the Jordan LA. As if LA doesn't have enough shoes already. And don't they already have a Jordan 1 LA? Yes. There's already a Jordan 1 LA. Why do they need another shoe? Why not? Um, yeah, so I guess it's going to be an All Star weekend. I mean, how many All Star weekends is LA? Can we spread it out? Can we have All Star weekend at different places other than New York and LA? No. I, I know they're going to say no, but I'm just, I mean, I'm, we got the new arena. It'd be nice to have it within we're the not, next five years. Uh, we're not, as a city, we're not set up for something like that. Sorry, mm, I, true. I was reading something. What happened? True. No, LA has another Air Jordan 1, another one, as if they needed another one. I just think that we're on the rise right now, and we deserve some shoes. I think so, too. That's I think so, saying. too. That's it. You know, who knows? Maybe somebody might. Gentrification is at its highest. Oh, I know. Not everybody wants to be a Detroiter. Oh, they've been doing that. <laughs> they've been doing that. Like, I'm from Detroit. Like, no, you're from That's... Warren. Stop it. You're not from Detroit. Shout Did anybody? Out. Huh? That's what I say. Shout out to all those uh, gentrifiers. Oh, no, you're living from Madison in, Heights. Stop. Living in Detroit, messing Detroit taxes up. <sighs> Man. They tried. I already talked about that. Never mind. What's that? Insurance. Car insurance. Yeah. Now, all those people that moved down. Into Detroit, they never changed their uh, oh, parents' bet. address. Yep. Screwing Detroit taxes up. I just hate. Well, my our yeah. city is set up for X amount of people, but there's thirty times more of them out. I believe it. I my my beef has always been with people because Detroit, like, I know when I go to other cities and people know you from Detroit, there is a there is a part of. Being from Detroit, as some people look at it, is like you being tough. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you hear all the stories about Detroit, how rough it can be. So when you hear somebody's from there, you're like, man, like, you know, what type of person is this? And so a lot of people, you know, they try to hijack that, you know what I'm saying, so that they look more like a badass. So they look tougher when they go somewhere. What I've gotten lately after leaving, t- uh, leaving town, a lot of people will say, Detroit, Detroit, or like Detroit. And I always have to show <laughs> them, I always have to show them my ID. That says Detroit proper, like right. 
Detroit. Now, I haven't lived in Detroit in a while, but I'm from Detroit. So, you know, I lived there for 22 years. East or West? Huh? East or West? East. Me too. See, hey. hey. But you went to Bloomfield School? But I went there for high school. You know, I can't really talk to because I went to Gross Point Middle I w- School. I went there for high school. So I went there for middle school, so. West Point. You went to Bloomfield for middle school? I went to Gross Point. I lived, uh, in, I lived in East Detroit when, uh, when it was called is, East Detroit. I know, now it's like East Point now. Yeah, but it's like the same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God. Um, we got so many shoes. You got this Nike Kyrie one, what the? And honestly, I don't care about. Them. I don't <laughs> Those care. Those look like Ace bandages. They do. <laughs> it do. I just said they could have like changed the color just a little bit. It looks I know. exactly like an Ace bandage. It's like they wrapped your foot up and then colored over it. Um, yeah, I'm over it. Man. And I mean, he, he only has three shoes. Why are we already doing a, a, a hybrid Kyrie? I would like you should have at least ten shoes before we start just throwing around hybrids for you. But that's just me, though. Uh, you also have the Nike Air Max 97 camo pack that I hope nobody thinks about getting, but I know Francis is probably... <laughs> My eyes just lit up. I was like, I know. Oh. It's camo print, so... I like that whole pack. Oh, my God. This shoe's looking so garbage. Ugh, these are horrible. I'm gonna get them. I'm sorry. I want camo print to die, like, sometimes, so... <laughs> like, really. I'm, I'm, I'm so over camo print. I think it's had... You know, there's 15 minutes. This thing didn't have 15 hours. And I'm ready for it to go away. Uh, we also have the Air Jordan Retro 11 Low Emerald. I like these. I can um, barely see it. Uh, <laughs> Hold on. You don't even look at the screen. You're looking at your phone no, so much you can barely see it. No, like the green, I can't. I mean, oh, it's not. but you can kind of get what they're trying to do. Yeah, see, uh, I see what they did there. Yeah, I do like the bottoms. See, uh, that's the bottom. That's what it is. <laughs> the bottoms have that same uh, outsole as the, the, rest of the All Star <laughs> Sixes and the uh, what other shoes came out? Man? The one, uh, the ones were more clear, but definitely like the Sixes. Why does it say a Photoshop representation of the colorway? Really? So what if it really doesn't? Actually oh wow! Like that? Oh, below, below is a Photoshop. You know, this is the actual shoe below. I'm gonna just wait till they get a little bit closer because I'm confused. I don't, yeah. Uh, honestly, I'm not a really a huge fan of the 11 lows. I like the 11 low IEs. The 11 lows just seem like a poor man's, even though they're the same shoe. It just seems like, well, I couldn't get the mids, so I'm just gonna get these. Uh, there is a new pattern to the Air Max 97. Uh. I, <laughs> it is more ridge like. I, I can't even explain it. Just go to sneakerbirdytrade.com and look it up. Uh, but it, yeah, instead of it, I can't even explain it. It's more ridgy. I can't. It's got a bigger hump in it. <laughs> yeah, it looks bulkier. I can't even. I it, it just. You should stay away from those. Very yeah, fantastic. I'm not. Yeah, uh, we got a couple more shoes. We got okay. So we got the Jordan 18 Sport Royal. Anybody looking forward to those? Do it now. Anybody? Hmm. Anybody looking forward to these Sport Royals? Nope. I, no. Uh, you don't like Jordans, though. I like so. Jordans. I have two pairs in my trunk right now. Ooh, two. Two uh, pairs. What are those two pairs? My Space Jams and then those uh, win like eight. See, it has to be an 11. There <laughs> you go. If it's not an 11, you're not wearing them. I have ones. And we fives. have one one. I have a couple ones. Literally a couple? A couple. Yeah. You're not, so needless to say, you're not the biggest Air Jordan fan. No, no. So, yes. I wouldn't. Most people, I mean, I know Jordan fans that don't go past the size. I mean, not size, but past the Model 14. So, uh, that's cool a, though. What is it? Uh, what is it? I have an 18. I just hope the leather is not stiff. That 18. So that like it creases like a bag of uh, like a potato chip bag, but it probably will. These probably got like, like the worst leather. Terribly. Yeah, it will. It's gonna crease no matter what. But I'm hoping that it's not that hard, stupid leather. It's like that soft leather that you can kind of I don't know finesse it. And then lastly, there's supposed to be some type of tinker. Air Jordan 3. Oh, that 3 looked look dope. Uh, here's my thing. It didn't even show a picture of it yet. Then what the hell did I see? <laughs> yeah, what did you, you see? You just say, well, what are you supposed to do with that? Look, see this shoe right here. I, I'm not. Mm-mm. I mean, right now they're just showing, like, there's no model or mock-up of it just yet. But the scent is going to be white, fire red, cement gray, and black. My fear is it's going to be the Katrina's. <laughs> I like the Katrinas. I know, that's what I'm wait, saying. Wait, oh, there's not a picture. No. My fear is is that they're just not calling the Katrinas. They're going to call them some type of Tinker Special. Does anybody know what NRG stands for yet? Yeah, like I guess that's supposed to be their version of like a, a Quick Strike. Oh. 
So it's going to be a lot of quick strikes next year. Cool. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what y'all wanted, though, right? Like, because Jordans are dead. So, you know, because y'all oh, yeah, got okay. tired of, you know, being able to go to a store and just pick out any shoe you want. And, you know, possibly. I wasn't. You know, I know, but there are a lot of people that are like, oh, no, what? I, so, I, I can't pay retail? You want me to pay less than retail for this shoe? Yeah, that's. How dare you? You know what I'm saying? Like, people were actually mad at that. Like, they were mad at that shoes the that they wanted was still sitting there a week after the fact and possibly for less money. It's resale. That's all it is. Yeah. The resellers getting upset. Because it's it's not even about the collection anymore. It's about what shoe do I have that you don't. And that's, and that's silly because anybody that's been doing this long enough has that shoe already. Mm-hmm. Everybody – that argument can be said about anything. It's like I – want all these Jordans sitting around because I have something that you don't have already. Exactly. I mean, here's the thing. You can have a general release, keep it clean long enough yeah. to where everybody ruins theirs. Six years later, everybody's looking at you like that anyway. And not everything has to be limited. To be exactly. Like, Case in point, the Mocha 3s are trash when it first came out. Not everybody's acting like they got to have them. So if you had a pair and you kept them, you kept them decent long enough, at some point they become grails. But it's, like I said, it's not even about the collection no more. It's not even about liking the shoes. It's about... What shoe is deemed popular? What shoe has the highest resale value? What shoe does not everybody else have? So, you know, let me get those so I can say I have them and you don't. And that's all fun and games, right? Like if, like you know, me and Jumpman, we go back and forth over shoes. He has like a thousand shoes. I might have like a handful of shoes he doesn't have. Mm-hmm. So we have fun with that. But I didn't build my collection on what shoes does he not have so I can say I have them. And, you know what I'm saying? Silly. Like it's so stupid. It's just silly. Like I actually buy shoes I like. And I want to wear, and I I care about that. You can fit that. That <laughs> I mean, I would like to think that most people do that. Like you don't buy shoes just to say you have them. Don't nah. fit. There's people that do that. There's people that have shoes that they don't fit or wear. That's so dumb. Honestly, if you do that, kill yourself. Okay, Real talk. That, that was that was a little harsh. That was harsh. Never. Yeah. Okay, just hurt yourself badly. Don't kill yourself. Don't don't die. Just hospitalize yourself Come like that. Yourself. Is that better? I know oh, she's writing on a uh, memo right now. Kill yourself. Yeah, don't. Kill yourself. <laughs> Going forward. Kill yourself at Christmas dinner. <laughs> yes. Um, no, like, I, honestly, I, I just get over some of the trite ways we, we have our, you know, we have within sneaker culture. You know, people complaining that shoes are sitting when it benefits you and whatever, whatever. So, anyway, uh, let's get to some of this news. News brought to you by 8-9 Manufacturing Company. 8-9, where quality meets design. Check out the collection of sneaker based apparel by going to the website at 8-9.com. Make sure you use promo code TSBP to save yourself an extra 20% off of your purchase. Uh, I guess you know. I guess we should start with this. What was the off-white, uh, the 10 <laughs> collection release uh, this past Monday? What, what are you talking about? Man, I mean, honestly, I, I wasn't looking for him. But I was looking for a friend, and Is that yeah. Wear fifteen? No, oh. no, size eleven. Oh, thank you. No, it wasn't for you either. Oh. I said friend. Oh. Uh, we. <laughs> um, yeah. That debacle. That that yeah, that was horrible. Uh, from what I heard from everybody else, basically, I mean, it does like it, the sneakers app did, like it did on every other significant release. Where it was like coming soon, sold out, like like that. What? Eric needs to switch the screen. No. Oh. Um but um He needs to switch this uh YouTube screen. But the, it's just I don't know. I mean somebody even mentioned that, you know, bots have been able to infra- infiltrate their system, which I thought was the whole point of them coming out with their app. Yeah. Uh, I don't, yeah. I, but, I don't know. So what was funny about that, so some of them made their way onto the sneakers app early. I had the second we got recorded done recording last Saturday. I got a phone call, uh-huh. saying that if you had searched it and then gone down to the bottom to the tags, right, that some of the Air Forces were up there already. Really? So that like right after we got done recording, somebody called me and told me that, and they were sending me screen caps that people were able to check out for at least the Air Forces. Huh. So I don't know if those orders went through. Right. But that was I thought kind of interesting, but um. No, that whole release on Monday, what was the point of them even spacing out the time? Like, 
it was gonna crash. It was gonna crash. Like people were, you know, in uh, in line or whatever for four minutes long after they sold out. Like it was just, and and you know, all those people that are out there that are like geek because they were able to get the converses. Mm-hmm. Kill yourself. <laughs> Nobody wanted those converses. Oh, don't the Chuck Taylors. <laughs> yeah, they actually came out of those. Yeah, honestly. I'm gonna kill myself because actually, that, honestly, oh. I, if I had to pick a pair that I liked, it was probably those Air Max 90s. Those Air Max 90s were dope. And the Chuck Taylors. No, those Chucks are trash. Uh, I mean, honestly, I just felt like it was a pretentious pack, and I, I, I'm not mad at if that's his thing. That's his. That's what he was shooting for. More power to him. People bought them. More power to him. If you Did, just I don't think me, anybody bought them. I well, I know. I don't think. I don't think anybody was able to check out. I haven't met anybody that did. You know? I've heard of one person, and that was it. So, so maybe I don't. I don't know. I, I just I just remember seeing on Instagram and all the social medias the debacle that was the off white collection. Like nobody was happy with that. Even he wasn't. Even Virgil himself wasn't happy with it. And like I said, like Burger King is trolling. You got celebrities that you know you've never seen a, wear a sneaker ever upset about the release. So. Uh, I don't know. That was definitely a loss for Nike. I mean, I guess for the people that did buy them, I guess. Well, did you see? So apparently uh, Ubix released them too. They released the ones and I think the Prestos. Right. But they released them like super random in their store. Huh. Like it was one of those things that was like the store was open, people were shopping, and they just put them out. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. Fake education with that. Bro, where is he at? Right now? Are we winning? Oh, yeah, the game is starting now. Go blue, man. Like, I swear. I, look, if I need this. Yeah, I don't know. I need this. This could be my early Christmas gift. I need a full calendar year where I can just talk down to every Ohio when I know, in particular, Buckeye City. So, like, I just need this. I need this in my life right now. Please, y'all, look, y'all lost to MSU. He's on the chat. Go ahead. Switch. 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 Y'all lost to Wisconsin. Y'all lost to OSU. I don't even know how y'all lost that game. Uh... I just need y'all to go ahead and pull this off of me. Please. I need this win. I need this. Plus, I'm not trying to come on the show next week and do whatever it is we made a bet on. Like, I, I, I would much prefer Buckeye City, so. You guys made a bet? Yeah. I forgot what it was, though. I'm, and I'm saying hey, Buckeye, I forgot. Give us a call. I'm saying I forgot because I don't really want to do it. Uh, no, Buc- I want to know. I'll Buckeye, know. you out there? <laughs> give us a call. I want to know about it. No. I'm not sure what the phone number is, so if you no. don't, give us a call. Oh, give him give him Chris's <laughs> Why are number. Why so fast? <laughs> no, up. real quick, something's wrong with the phone line, so give him Chris's number. Oh, Chris can't call in? Yeah, he can't call in. Oh. Give, it, give him give Chris's his number. Call. Yeah. And he can, we can call out, but for some reason we can't have people call in. I don't know what's going on. Technical difficulties. Is this that when you, like, back in the day when you didn't pay your cell phone bill, like, you could call people? <laughs> you could call you, but they couldn't call you. They couldn't call you. <laughs> oh my god that happens to, you know, honestly I'm not gonna put no, I'm not gonna say no names but that happens to somebody a lot in the studio not, that, I'm just gonna say they're not here today I think the problem really is that the string got used to wrap some packages you know the two tin cans and a oh, string yeah and, that can uh, cause problems yeah. you know Black Friday they were wrapping stuff that's some cause problems and the thing about Black Friday too real quick just kind of going back and forth right now um, I just feel like people are obligated feel obligated to go shopping like they have no urge. They don't even really want anything. They just feel obligated to go. Because when I went to the mall yesterday, I went to two malls, and it was just jam-packed. But why? Like, exactly. What like, did you buy? Like, you did it just because that's what people do. <laughs> no, I mean, we went to the movies. We went why to Parker Street. go to the movie, not malls? No, because we went to the... Oh. Is that MJR? Yes. Do you do the clap? The no! Oh, my God. I hate when you people... You seem sound like somebody that... God, no. That annoys me more than anything. You know what else annoys me? People that cry. Out loud in movies. People that cry out loud in movies. It's like, I, I can see a average, few tears. Okay, so this is about those Yeezys for today. Average resale is only $430 and is expected to drop even lower. Because there's Our, a grip the of them. aftermarket price is low because they're being produced at a higher rate. Really? Yeah. So I don't have to pay a lot. For, I'm sorry. Oh, man, did you just see the text in the thread? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, sometimes I have to mute y'all when I'm trying to go to sleep. Uh, <laughs> what time do you go to sleep so I know when to send all my text messages? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's call uh, HR on that one. I don't talk to HR. <laughs> I like that. 
like to be asleep before midnight. So, uh, what time do you go to sleep, baby? <laughs> Whoa. See, he, you, I, I know, see, now he's on HR. Was, yeah, he's going to have to go. Yep, White Ranger, yep. You got to go to HR now. Well, I'll be happy to go with HR. Oh, my God. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel like anywhere, anywhere we go with this conversation is going to be a win for you. Yes, uh, yes, it will. <laughs> I may do time. But no, Black Friday was, i tell you how crazy it was. I went to uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. I mean, not Buffalo Wings. I went to uh, Red Robins. They ran out of wings. Mm. Is that what it was? For? Red Robins. Mm. Yum. Oh, yum. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm. No, no, yum. no. Okay. That was Robins anyway, Red. Anyway, so you went to. That's Blue Robins. Well, no. I went there. They ran out of wings. That's how many people was out at Lakeside, Partridge Creek. And it wasn't even like a weird time. I went there at like 8 o'clock. And they had no wings. <laughs> Nobody cares. All right, cool. Exactly. Uh <laughs> No, no, nobody cares. You, about. you said it, but I'm no, I am it. saying it. Anybody? I am saying it. I got it. distracted. Uh, okay, there's a I'm number kind of things. Everybody out. There's a number of things. Uh, let me get to the news. We calling Chris. I sent the. Okay, uh, Nike employee subpoenaed by FBI in an NCAA investigation. Uh, an article written by Brandon Noon for Soul Collector. After Adidas employees were arrested by federal agents as part of the sizable crackdown of corruption in college basketball. A report surfaced suggesting that Nike will also be affected. According to Daryl or Darren Heitner on via Twitter, uh, Nike employees have also been subpoenaed by the FBI. One of the Adidas employees arrested, Merle Cole, formerly wrote, formerly worked. It's pronounced. No, no. Uh, formerly worked for Nike on the EYBL. It's pronounced Gordon. Uh, but I evaded it. Uh, founded in 2010, the EYBL is Nike's basketball program that grooms high school talent. Merle, along with Adidas exec Jim Gatto, uh, are accused of funneling company money to high school players for bribes as large as $150,000 that would secure commitments to Adidas-sponsored school- schools. Uh, these players were then expected to sign deals with Adidas upon turning pro. Merle, Jim, and others are facing federal wire fraud and money laundering charges. If there is any organization you do not want coming at you, it will be uh, the FBI. The FBI? Yes, for anything. I have stopped listening. That was just my uh, guess. <laughs> oh, my God. That's uh, what I was going to say, the FBI or the CIA. I'm just saying, if the FBI knocks at your door, just say, I plead guilty and get it over. Like, honestly, make it easy for yourself. Uh oh. No. Nope. No, off the Belize I, I go. I'd be like, I didn't know. Oh my god. I didn't know what Caesar was doing. Oh, I had to be involved. <laughs> I had to be involved. I am uh, on the next plane to Belize. Oh my god, Nike's being. All right, here's a good story. Um, some designer fought oh. Nike and actually won. That's rare. Oh. Yeah, I know that's very rare. Yeah. Uh, Nike is like the FBI of sneakers. Like, if they coming at you, like, just just say you did it and get it over this with. This is I how think, I feel. What is that? I think what is it that says, can of? both, it says, it said the game, and it says, can both teams lose? Oh, we man, got, get out of here. And then we got feel. Pat from Unbox on. Oh, he's here? Yeah. Is this Chris? This is Jeffrey from the Unbox app? I think so. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Chris, Jeff, Pat. I mean, <laughs> think about my real name, right? That's Guru. Blame Guru for that. Because now I'm not even, like I told him, like I'm not even sure your name is Mike at this point. He had me so confused. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's all good. Whatever. I've been called many names. Because so, I'm like, know, did I hear him right? Like, you know, like I'm. I like John. I'm not, I, I, John, I, I know. Name. How about Cecil? Well, I guess, Cecil? That, Cecil? That's like a, a 60-year-old man. Well, I feel like Cecil or Percy will work. John is fine. John. Okay, can that be his middle name then? John Percy? John Quincy. Wait, wait. when do we decide on John being the first name? Uh, look, you don't have, you had no say in this. I'm HR. Yeah, no, yeah. She's HR for both it. our shows. So listen, listen, listen here, Charles. Yeah, get it over I'm, with I'm Chuck. I'm going to sit back. Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave. You, you have no say in what name we give you. Anyway. By the end of by the end of that whole segment, I was like, well, all Dave needs to do is fire all those people. I man. know, basically. <laughs> He'd have all the money available. All right, all right, Marcus, go ahead and say what you got to say. <laughs> no, so what's going on? No, man? but really, introduce yourself. Yeah, for, what's going? Uh, introduce yeah. yourself you? for Guru, just in case he doesn't. know. I know, right? Oh. Guru's listening right now. <laughs> what's going on, everybody? It's uh, Mike, <laughs> <laughs> Un- uh, Unbox. 
uh, <laughs> part of a one one fifth of the Monday Mid. So, um, you know, uh, appreciate you guys. You said the Tuesday also. <laughs> I like to call him. <laughs> I like to call him the day after Christmas because he's kind of the the unboxed. <laughs> You know, day after Christmas. The Wednesday upper. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't do it. Friday, I don't. <laughs> Friday, <laughs> Friday front <laughs> toe box. Exactly. The Friday, Thursday laces. No, it's got to be the same letter. I don't see how you deal with Caesar wow. on a daily basis. I don't see how you deal with Oh, it's only once a week for like three hours. Yeah, I block him the rest of the week. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mute my group chat. Okay, I'm about to say because you know I, I feel for y'all. I feel for y'all. <laughs> and after 30 minutes with him, I'm like, dang, dude, why? Why are we talking? Why am I talking to this man? Right. But so, but Terrence, no, but you call in and say what? <laughs> <laughs> he kind of double punched you, like yeah. Terrence. What do you want? Right, like, get it over with Terrence. I know. My bad. I was, so anyway, so y'all can keep going on. No, you good. No, 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 um, no, you're good, man. Let everybody know. Uh, right now, I'm running a, a Kickstarter campaign. Trying to get some upgrades to uh, uh, to the app for the well, next well, round. So, what, who, what? Explain this app for people that don't know, real quick. Okay, so so right now the app, uh, what it, what it currently does, it allows you to uh, manage and catalog your shoes by simply scanning the barcode on the box, and it'll uh, allow you to have your virtual shoe closet, so you can better organize and keep up with your collection. Uh, but right now, you know, it doesn't scan everything, as Francis knows. Um, so, so what well. I'm trying to do is with the next round of upgrades, it'll allow the main thing is creating a bigger database. So that is picking up the majority of shoes that are out there on the market, um, as well as a couple of other features, such as being able to export your full collection. Does it pick up like have, Air, Mo- Air Monarchs? Yes. Know that? White Ranger has a huge Ranger Air Monarch collection. And he wants to know if he... I've just bought a new um, storage cabinet. It's about... An eight foot wide wall for all of my monarchs. Okay. So <laughs> you want to know. <laughs> will it, will it upload will it pick them all up? I have at least one for every day but of the week. But we, if we give money to the Kickstarter, can you guarantee that the monarchs will be on there? <laughs> yeah, that's a deal breaker right that's there. That's kind of weird. Ooh, can I guarantee that? Oh, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> hey, what? Yeah, yes, yes. But but just, but let me know what episode this is so I can make sure to avoid it in case I go back. Oh no, trust me, we've already he's already had it. I think he's already singled it out. We have the uh, audio of you saying yes, it'll be available, <laughs> so you can play it. Okay, back so let me, at our let me let me try that answer again. So the answer is we'll, it'll it'll scan. There you go. I don't yeah. know if you understood that, so y'all can figure it out. That was a yes. We heard no. you loud and clear, Aaron. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's okay. I know your name's Mike. <laughs> No, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see you in New York. So. I, no, you oh. won't. Like, <laughs> oh. I can promise you, you won't. Like, I. I so can you can you. send you can send uh uh Mike there instead of you going. Yeah, because we Wait. won't be there. You were confusing oh, him. No. <laughs> I know. Right? Like, I'm confused. I'm like, oh huh? snap! Like, wait, wait, wait. What's my name? Oh. Okay, yeah, we'll we, talk about. We will not be in New York. I mean, I won't. I can really? tell you, I won't be. Oh. Huh. Okay, that might uh, we'll we'll okay we'll talk offline. I okay, we'll talk offline. Bet it up. Offline. Okay, but uh, yeah, just trying to do some upgrades. Uh, you know, such as allowing people. You know, if you want to allow access to other people to see your collection, you guys can do that. Um, you know, comment on other people's collection. Uh, uh, some sneaker news. Just a bunch of things that I think will vastly improve the you know the quality of the app. You know, right. um, I mean, you know, it, it's decent right now. I mean, clearly, I'm not 100% happy because I know what the full vision is that I want. Right. Um, so this will definitely help springboard that to uh, get to where it's a little more well-rounded, you know, user 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 friendly. You um, any idea when you'll be uh, you'll have the app ready for Android, or is that something you? Just... I knew you were going to ask. I, I mean, he's I have an Android. Like, why the would you surprise? He's the only one. That... He's the only one yeah. that cares. So if you don't want to answer that, don't, you don't first of all, don't, don't waste the first funds. Of all, First of all, yeah. you sound you sound like the lady at my local Foot Locker. Like I got a size fifteen. I knew you was gonna ask. I wear a size fifteen. Of course, I'm gonna ask about size fifteen. I have an Android. Of course, I'm gonna ask about an Android. Mm. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. I get that question every week. So I'm. Don't talk totally to those people ever again. Huh? You shouldn't <laughs> talk to those people. Who is that? The people that ask about the Android. 
Tell them to get an I'm iPhone. Gonna... Yeah. I, I, I was doing that. Sorry, I'm done giving you a yeah, we're time. Done. We're done. If I know you, I tell you, get an iPhone. If you're a, right, a so that's what you should have said to ass. him, right? I I mean, that's what we tell know, people yeah, we care C- about. For, for Caesar, yeah, get an Android. I mean, uh, get a get a get a get it get together, an Doug. I mean, come on, all right. <laughs> Doug. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I totally forgot about Doug. He just told me to get the very phone I already had. Like, get an Android. Okay. Well, but, anyways, let him. I guess I got to double question. up. Like, so, do you see it coming out on the Android? And, I can't even and, say that. I know. Like, it's I don't even it's know a that foreign word. word. I don't know that word. But. I mean, right. I'm about to say that. Like, that's like primitive. <laughs> it's primitive technology. Nobody knows about it. <laughs> so, originally, I was looking at trying to do March. But, I mean, in all honesty, with things getting pushed back on the iOS version, uh oh. things come, I oh. can still accelerate the process. Make an iPhone look better now. Steve, your your phone was having a little bit of an issue. It's a lot of static. Oh, yes. Oh, Steve. He answered to it too. Like, look. <laughs> well, I mean, clearly, he answered the question clearly, first, and then thought about his name. Like, wait a minute, he got my name wrong. Clearly, I'm Steve. I'm Steve. I'm Doug. I'm John. I'm Andrew. Aaron. You know what you are. Whatever y'all want. You watch Game of Thrones. No, uh uh-uh. uh. Okay. Well, never mind. That fail. But yeah. So, all right, James. All right. So, we're at. <laughs> we're up to so, the Kickstarter. Yeah. So, right. Okay. So, basically, I had 30 days, which I think is down to 19 days to raise 50K for the upgrades. If I don't hit the 50K, then everybody who's donated gets the money back. I don't see a dime. Wow. Yep. That's crazy. Yeah, but I mean, you know, at the end of the day, if it doesn't happen, it definitely is. I'm gonna run it again, probably after the holidays. I know that's been some of the things people have said. You know, it's coming up on Christmas and everything else, and I get that. You know, I definitely get that. But you know, at the end of the day, I, I you know, I, I still got upgrades to do. So if this doesn't pan out, then you know, I'll probably run it back. You know, in a couple months, and you know, kind of go from there. Feel it. Oh, all right. Thanks for calling in, Tony, and telling us about your app. Thank you, Mike. We appreciate you. <laughs> Definitely. Bro, I know Mike, you're at work. Thank you for. Thanks Are you for at work right now? Yeah, he's at work. Yeah, I'm at work, man. Oh, well, man. you been paid to us. talk to us. Oh no, ooh. ooh, ooh, and play PS and play PS4. Okay, I've been I don't think you should be saying all that. Oh man, I know. I hope your boss isn't listening to this show right now. I heard he's a big fan of the Sneaker Box podcast. I mean, luckily he goes by so many names, he wouldn't know who to fire anyway. So. Exactly. There I was going to say, so many names are thrown out there, it don't matter. Exactly. So, but yeah. he'll just, uh, by the time he fires you, he's fired like the entire uh, company. The whole staff. Yeah, the whole staff is missing by the time he gets to you, so nothing to worry exactly. about. Exactly. So it's all, all right. good. So thank you. I appreciate you guys for having me on. Nah. Happy holidays. Yep. Same to you. I hope y'all had a good holidays. Um, you know, we'll, we'll all definitely talk soon. Yeah. Sounds Real quick, did you get anything for Black Friday or no? Man, I don't deal with that madness. There are so many things I'm trying to buy sneaker wise. I'm, I'm not even focused on that. I got enough big TVs at the house, so I'm good. Ooh, no. he had to let us know he had all these big TVs in his house. And a PS4 I mean, at work. I don't. Ooh, <laughs> everybody's got a couple of big TVs. No, so. not everybody. We don't all have it like you, oh. Shane. Shane. <laughs> I'm done. All I'm right. Done. Have a so, you, I'm, you, I'm done too because I'm out of names. Like can I honestly get, don't. You can, can catch. You yeah, you can catch. What's your social, Bill? Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Where can we Unbox find you? App. <laughs> Unbox app. Oh, Unbox app. Uh, check me out. IG. Uh, the link for the Kickstarter campaign is in the bio. Um, so yeah, just just click on the page. What's the name of the kick, What's the name of the Kickstarter campaign? Just so we know. It's just it's just Unbox app. Okay. Yeah. If you, if you if you Google Unbox, Crap. okay, Kickstarter cool. will come up. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. Um, anyone Thanks. that, yeah, anyone wants to catch up with Jeff and his uh, yes. show, Monday Midso? Yes, the Monday Midso every Monday. <laughs> but all you have to remember is like Mike Monday Midso. Who? Mike. What? I don't know who that Mike is. I've heard of Zach. You know. We got right. Zach on the line right now. What are you talking about? Thanks again, Mike. Uh, yeah, we. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. The, the other two, I don't know about them. White Ranger, thank you as well. <laughs> You're always welcome. <laughs> no, we'll catch up. Honestly, we'll you know we're running to each other. At we got some... <laughs> gurus on the line now. I don't, yeah, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Stacy, hold on. Guru. Mm-hmm. Guru, I'm glad Guru. you. You know, Guru. this, this might got... be the most opportunistic time. Uh, for you to call in because we have Chris from Unbox on. Yeah, 
I hear. What's going on, man? Chris, man. <laughs> <laughs> Are you awake? Me, oh my god! Yeah, yeah. I just got working. I'm not there with you guys. No, really? I oh, I, I just not noticed that. Thank you for telling us. <laughs> no problem. I'm sad. Why I'm not there? I got to work the Yeezy release. Uh, Guru. So yeah. you want to like? I know no, you saw. Never mind. Go ahead. Right, we'll go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. No, no. I uh, I saw it. If I uh, if I had that, I would have looked out for you. I didn't get that size. Oh, okay. No, nothing close to it. Do you want to apologize to uh, Marcus about getting his name wrong? <laughs> my, my bad, bro. I could have sworn you. I heard Caesar say, say Chris. Sugar <laughs> Khan and, uh, uh, what was that? San Francisco. He called you Chris. So no, I did. Right with oh, Chris. Okay, it's Mike. You? I know it's my fault. No, Mike. Guru, man. I didn't even know that you thought my name was Chris. Mike. Nah, he's bringing a toy. Mike, you did not hear the yeah. show last week? I didn't hear the show last week. I was okay, there, some friends you are. Work. But no, real quick. <laughs> real quick. <laughs> Guru, Guru has been butchering your name for like Lord knows how long. And we just realized it last week because he kept referring to you as Chris from the Unbox Lab. We was like, who is Chris? And then we figured out he was talking about you. This is why we're coming up with all these names. Because we didn't know who the hell you were. Fred, Fred just told me. I had, he had me cracking up. I was oh, like, oh, man. okay. Yeah, he. Call, I mean, we basically called you every name but Mike. Like so. <laughs> no, I didn't call you. I only had one name. Nah. <laughs> no, Guru, man, you could. I swear, I don't even remember you calling me Chris. I couldn't swear I called you Chris. Like, Chris. He, and, hey, man. look, hold you know, on. We, we was taking a tour, and I was breaking down the shoes. I was like, man, these yeah. kids, LeBron Nines is limited. Chris, you like for real? Hey, look, <laughs> hey, look, <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> Kevin. I might not have heard you say Chris, man. Most look, man. Kevin. He even said he even said that like But he you, responded to every yeah, name. He though. said you responded to every name and like me knowing how polite you are, like I'm just thinking that you just didn't have the heart to correct him, so you just answered all these like, names. He probably graduated with the wrong name. It was like he's right. like, Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. <laughs> no, I would have I'm on the plane. I don't remember him calling me things but Mike. So that's but I would have said so. I'd be like, oh, okay, nah, that's Mike. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, man. I, that was funny. All right, well, real, real that, uh, all right, Justin. Thank you for calling in. Thank you. Tell us about your unboxed uh, <laughs> Kickstarter. <laughs> and <laughs> y'all gonna be confusing people who are listening. They're gonna be like, who, 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 they're not gonna know who to follow. They know point. the unboxed app. That's what I think the I only know. the only thing that can save you is to like just literally change your name to unboxed app. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the only way you can avoid all of this. Legally change your name to unbox that. Like, uh, if right. it gets donations, I'll change it to whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just said, never mind. Okay. We should let Guru pick. Like, this is how Guru pick your name. <laughs> All right, but well, anyway, we got, to, we got to keep it moving, man. Thanks, so, thanks, so, Mike. Right. Thanks, thanks Mike. Brandon. Thank you, guys. Uh, we'll see you, not in New York, Later. but maybe sometime soon. Later. Yeah, we'll talk. I appreciate you guys. Thanks. No thanks. problem. Sorry, no problem. Yep. All right, take care. See you. Mm. Guru still there? Yeah. <laughs> he said yeah, no problem. Here. Oh, oh. Yeah. Andrew cool How's though. That, like, that was real cool of Andrew to call in yeah. and you know tell us about his app. And, <laughs> so uh, you did. A, you guys had a raffle, right? Well, we had the choice of doing the first come, first serve, or a raffle. Since I don't have security, I chose to do a raffle. <laughs> That's so, smart. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, way to broadcast that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, but if somebody I, wanted to rob the store, we had no way to stop you. So, uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, so that's what I did. It was, it went pretty easy. So, it was done. Most easy all of them are gone. Easy, hey, ooh, ooh. easy, easy, easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How many pairs did you guys have? Uh, not even a size one. Damn. Because they gave them to all. They gave them to all the villas. Usually, they just give them like twenty villas, so they will have a, you know, oh, so a nice they amount. To spread them out. Yeah, so you gotta bring that swear out. jar sometime soon. Dan's not a swear. You guys runner. are doing really good, so I just I felt like you're doing good. Okay, cool. I let it all. As long out as you, as long as I get that from you, I, I'll take that. That's I let it all out in the live. Yeah, uh, I know. Yeah, know. go crazy. Um, all right. Um, we gotta get to our next guest, our next caller. I've been really, really excited to talk to this person on the show. Um, just when I thought, honestly. Like, cause you see all the customization, you see all the things that go on with sneakers, and in my mind, I'm like, okay, there's the lace jewelry, there's the laces, you can customize the shoes, you got the uh, the bags you can put your shoes in if it rains, the dry steppers, I think that's what they're called, uh, you got the stuff you can put in your outsole to keep them icy, 
You got, got crep boxes attack. you can put them in. You got bo- like glass so boxes that light up and all. Hey, so many things around sneakers that, you know, I'm just thinking, okay, like what else can anybody think of? And I'm just, I thought every idea had been exhausted. I mean, sometimes I think that just about things in general. But mm-hmm. then I went to the grocery store and they had squeeze, uh, what's it called? Sour cream? No. They got squeeze sour cream? Yeah. What? I don't even know why is that, that sounds like so on, phenomenal. Is that either. the stuff you put on tacos? Yes. Right? Yeah, you they just squeeze, squeeze sour it cream? so now you can just squeeze it on your tacos instead of like using your spoon and then it gets all mixed in the I don't sauce. even know why I'm so excited about it. But, but I'm, I'm just like, saying like you can always be innovative. Yeah. So like, People always think of ways to make things better. And this next particular person has found a way to make sneakers actually better for me. Um, for you. <laughs> Jelko. Uh, he is the founder of Licks Apparel. And what they do, they create customized sneaker tongues. Um, I, I, you have to see it. Like, honestly, I, I thought it was such a dope idea. And sometimes it's the simplest ideas that are, like, the best ones. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Jelko. Hi, Caesar. Hail, Caesar. Hey, what? <laughs> what's up, man? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you just stroked your ego for a year. Yeah, off top. Off top. I'm saying, like, we're already on a good start. There we We go, man. We couldn't couldn't work up to that? You had to. No. Jesus. Nope. This conversation is going to get better and better. We're just building from there. I'd have to sit next to him. I was wondering if I could sing my way in. (laughs) (laughs) What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, Detroit? What's up? I'm a big Motown fan. Oh, thank you. I'm saying thank you as if I had anything to do with it. (laughs) Um, (laughs) I had nothing. To do with that, um, but no, it's I appreciate that. It's funny because when I went to London, did I mention Ooh. that? Okay, okay. Did I, mention that? I went to London earlier this year. I don't know if anybody know, huh. and that that's what everybody kept pointing to. Like it was, like, oh my god, Motown. There's one old guy pulled me an OG sneak. Well, we was already eating, but he came over there and had to give us this 20 minute story about how he saw Marvin Gaye in concert back in 19 whatever. Um, so yeah, Motown is still alive over there. Yeah, I'm a big soul fan. That's by the way, no, we appreciate it. At least we have some yeah. kind of legacy. But anyway, um, tell us. I mean, okay, so obviously I just kind of gave people the Cliff Notes versions of what it is that you do, but I don't know if you want to add to that and tell people how you got started. I don't think we actually got to what he does. We just I said they made the like, customized sneaker his ego tongues. And... Yeah, let him. Yeah, okay, go yeah. ahead and tell us about yeah, go on, it. Yeah, you tell it. You do a better job than I would. So basically, you know, I, if, if we go to day one, growing up with a single mother, I quickly gained a strong feel for aesthetics. You know, I was always in awe with clothes, especially sneakers, and uh, constantly trying to find my, a way to make them more unique or, or less boring. You know, my mom gave me gave me permission to to customize the stuff that I was wearing to school. She let me draw my Ninja Turtles. Uh, my Ninja Turtles on my on my jeans, and I wore them to school. And you know, the next day, nothing felt the same ever since. You know, right. And for as long as I can remember, I was I was also hypnotized by sneakers. I don't know why. I mean, maybe it's, maybe maybe it's the feminine side in me. You know, girls like shoes. So my mother loved shoes, and she always told me she 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 met my father when she met my father. She she immediately looked at his shoes and his shoes were clean and, and, and you know, top notch and she, she knew it was it was the right person for her. Right. Uh well be, being that she she ended up a single mother and she she wasn't that all correct, but nevertheless I, I love sneakers but the sneaker business was a, was a tough one. I, I couldn't get my, my, my way in the sneaker business just like that. It was too expensive. And I kept pondering, you know, what's the, what's the next closest thing and then came the trend with the jeremy scott's and the and the adidas and the supras rocking them big tongues and i thought well hey that's a nice platform to get creative let's do this you know it's almost as if i have my own sneaker brand so let me ask you this so uh what was like the first tongue that you did the first tongue that i did was uh an actually an angel's wing that my grandmama Helped me suit together because she was a su- how do you how do you say it? seamstress. Seamstress. Am I seamstress. saying it correctly? Seamstress. Seamstress. Yeah, she 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 used to work for the you know for the being in Europe it's it's different. We had Nazis actually in Croatia. Yeah, and she I was gonna used say to yeah, clothes for Nazis. You know? Yeah, because I just your, your name you're Croatian, right? Yeah, I'm Croatian. I'm Croatian. Yeah, 
and we were we were you know during World War Two we were occupied occupied by the Nazis, and we had you no know, people had to work for them. We, uh, it's not like we wanted to, but we had to. <laughs> just and, clarifying. Yeah, I know. Just sure we know yeah, that. I love how you distance yourself from Nazis. <laughs> Yeah, fucking Nazi. <laughs> no, you can't say that. You can't well, no, say he's a that. guest. He can... You, no. Oh, a dollar in the swear jar. Oh, Mr. Dirty man. Mouth. A dollar in the swear jar. Uh, That's yeah, like a $5 she, she... word. No, but it was directed ah, towards Nazis. Okay, yeah. So I'm putting in PayPal this nigga, girl. It was directed towards Nazis, though. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... Correct, correct, correct. Okay. All right. Can I, I give him a dollar back? I'm going to give you a pass on that one. Because we're already talking about Nazis. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so yeah, she, she was she was into making clothes, uh, and I was always surrounded by you know needles and materials and stuff like that, and it appealed to me in, in, in some sort of way, and just brought two worlds together, you know, mine, which was the hip hop, I was in, all the way in the hip hop genre. I was a, I was a I still am a music producer. I produce music and hip hop soul was a big, you know. Not a fad, just a, a, like a phase that still keeps on going. And just clothes, hip hop style in general, fashion, it all made sense to me. I don't know if, if I am, am elaborate enough. Um, but no, I mean, no, I mean, that's probably no, uh. no, you're good, <laughs> but no. So, I mean, like I said, like I, I remember somebody had told me about the tongues, and then I think I came across it. As I was on Instagram mm-hmm. one day, just kind of just, you know, wandering through, going through the different hashtags and whatnot, and I saw a video of the tongues. Okay. Like I seen, uh, you got a bunch of different graphics on there, uh, some for yeah. certain brands, others just random designs. Yeah. Um, now, have you had, okay, so I remember talking to you, uh, you were saying that you even had, like, Snoop Dogg even checked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Snoop Dogg is a, is, is, a, is a big supporter of mine. That's what's up. Now, what type of time did yeah. you make for him? Did you make one for him, and what type of time was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he was, he was actually, uh, he was actually on tour, and I, and I got, and I got uh, to a friend of mine. I got in, into the backstage with him, and we actually hung out for an hour or so. We actually one on one, just me and Snoop Dogg, and I brought him a pair of uh, Adidas Superstars, I believe, and I made him a custom tongue of a marijuana leaf just for him. It was during his lion, lion, Snoop Lion phase. And he was actually flabbergasted by the idea. He just he just kept looking at it for about 50 minutes. He was high, though. But you don't say oh, surprise. <laughs> what? Surprise. That's so, yeah. That sounds so unlike Snoop. Uh, <laughs> but no, he I, kept looking at it. And he he couldn't believe what what, what was happening. You know, he was he was he was telling me he was he was he was actually chanting the whole time. This is dope. This is dope. This is dope. And one time I asked him, do you, "Do you really think so?" I don't know, yeah, there's there a lot of irony in that statement. Was he talking about the tongue or his actual joint? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about the tongue. <laughs> okay. Both. Yeah, he's yeah. About, yeah. And he says, you know, do you think Snoop Dogg has a problem with saying that something isn't dope? No, no, no. I just and wasn't I was sure like, if he was talking about. Are you saying no, he said no, that no, to he you? Was talk- <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, he was talking about the tongue. You know, in, in, in the UK, you say dope for cool. Or... No, we, no, we said it over here, too. But right? it also means dope. Yeah. No, um, I was <laughs> going to ask. just messing with me, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we just messing with you. No, so basically, I'm looking at the tongues right now. Like, obviously, they only fit certain silhouettes, right? Well, not not really. I mean, you uh, silhouettes in terms of what? You mean like, types or? Yeah, like like I'm looking at the tongues. Like, I, like I'm seeing a picture of somebody wearing them with some Adidas superstars. Um, okay. I think I've seen a video of them being on a pair of Air Jordan 1s. Like, Flat yeah. type of basic tons. Like I, I can't see, maybe not yet. Maybe you might, you know, graduate to this, um, like an Air Jordan Five, that type of ton. Like it wouldn't fit over that. Well, basically, the the the, the thing we did with Indiegogo was to make uh, one pair that that was you know mainstream. That was like for I know we had Air Max, uh, uh, Adidas. Right. Uh, we had those in mind, you know, the the most typical types of sneakers that would fit the licks perfectly. Right. But uh, we were planning on expanding, of course, if the Indiegogo campaign would would go well, we would expand into into different types of licks, you know, different sizes, kid sizes, kid models, you know, stuff like that. So basically, we we didn't want to hold on to just that design. It was just that 
it was the most popular thing to put on Indiegogo in terms of sales, you know? Right. So if people, so first of all, um, I guess, where can people find you as far as social media? And if they are interested in actually purchasing some uh, licks, custom tongues, uh, where can they purchase them at? Yeah, for now, we're on Indiegogo, so we're, we've been there for, for a minute or so, three days, I think, we're into, into the campaign. So it's uh, orglicks.com, O-R-G-licks.com. It will, tra- it will re- redirect you to our Indiegogo campaign. Or you can, uh, you can, you can search us on uh, Instagram. It's licks down slash apparel. That's what's up. No, I, actually, I I love yeah. the product, man. Like I'm actually, you sent me some, right? Thank you, thank you. They just, yeah, came. I did, I did, I did. Yeah. Actually, it was it was the last minute call, and I made you some Detroit ones. It was uh, the big one. That's what's up, man. I'm definitely gonna rock those. Yeah. So um, these go over and, the tongue, right? Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, these goes over the tongue, and these these are these are these are uh, like these are premium models. Uh, this is something that we will launch after the Indiegogo campaign goes. So these are these are these are these are more 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 high in in terms of size, and these have actually a hidden pocket. What's that for? Side. I don't know if you yeah, know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Did Snoop request that? Yeah, it's, <laughs> for, it's for cash, stash, and valuables. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if I can yeah. make it to the TSA line with them. All right. Uh, but no, I definitely appreciate you making time. I definitely appreciate you sending that. Like, I've been kind of all over the place. So they actually got delivered. I just actually haven't uh, actually checked my mail. Uh-huh. So I, I will check it today. I promise you I'm going to take some pictures and post it on social media as well. Um, Thank you, yeah, Jesus! Appreciate it, appreciate it. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I actually, I'll post yeah, something yeah. on Sneaker Party Trade as well to kind of help you out with that. Because I, def- I love the idea. Thank I you. love appreciate what you got going it, yeah. on, man. And uh, I love when I see things like this uh, start off and then it just blows up. Um, but anyway, coming yeah, from be- you guys, hmm? yeah, coming from you guys, I uh, you know appreciation. You know, humbling. It's a it's a humbling experience. You coming from you. Oh man, that's hey, saying those words coming from you. Yeah, don't I'll, say Hail Caesar again. I don't, <laughs> don't ever. Yeah, don't <laughs> I, I will hang up on you, and I don't even. Well, know I mean, that I'm European. I can't help myself. Man, no, I definitely appreciate it, man. Like I, I always like when people do do things that are positive, man. And I love what you got going on here. I actually think like I literally think it's a good idea. I mean, it's one of those things where it's just like when you see it, it's like, how did nobody think of this before? Um Yeah. I, I love it. I love the designs, I love the idea. I'm a huge fan of it. Um I'm supporting it. So thank if you, I can thank assist you, thank you from the bottom of my heart out, I mean I'm there for it. Thank you very. I don't know. I, I I can't express how humble I feel and, and appreciate it. Uh, no problem. What you man. just said. No problem. I can't wait to get the um, ones you sent, man. I'm gonna throw them on. I'm gonna try to figure out what shoes. I'm gonna throw them on, but uh, definitely looking forward to seeing them. Uh, but yeah, hope we, you like it. Yeah, but we'll we'll be in touch. You got my number. I got yours. And you know, as things progress, we'll you know announce it on the show. Definitely, I made I made I actually made a freestyle for you guys. I don't know if you put those that that kind of stuff on, on your show, but I can I oh, can actually send intro. it to you. Or, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, send we it play over. music yeah. for our show. So send yeah. it to me, and then like we'll play it on our next show. Episode one. Okay, I will. Yep. We'll do. Yeah. I did it especially especially for you guys. Send oh man, that's, that's what's you. up. Right at the beginning of one fifty. Yep. All right. Appreciate yeah. it. That was perfect timing right there on your part. Yeah. Thank you. Thank All you. right. Thank you. Be in touch. Yeah. Hear from you guys. You, 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 you're you a crazy cool bunch. I uh, <laughs> hope to see you in live sometimes. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Thanks. So greetings from Europe. Yep. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. See you. See you, guys. See you. All right. Once again, that was Jelko. Um, I'm, a, I'm about to butcher his name. Who the let? He wrote it out for you. <laughs> I know he did spell it out phonetically. Thank you, White Ranger. Hudeletniak. Um, appreciate you, Francis. man. Definitely. I know he's probably better at this than I am. No. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> he was no parts of this. No, I, I just I recognize his name as being Croatian. Um, oh. I know. I love how you asked him when he says I'm from Croatia because most of the time, most of the time people are from somewhere. No, no. I was. I wanted. It worked to, out well. No, yeah. I wanted to ask him well. before he said it. Yeah. But I was just like, okay. So. I love how he distanced himself in the. <laughs> oh, yeah. like, no, well, just in to. case. No, I mean, I guess if you're from that area, you got to. Um, but 
definitely check out what they have. Uh, you can follow them like, once again on Instagram at licks underscore apparel. I just think the time thing is so dope. Mm-hmm. Honestly, they, there's an Indiegogo too. Yeah, so I, I think it's. Up. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? I mean, I haven't seen them in person. They remind yeah, I gotta me. Gotta look at them more. Okay. They they but. remind me of a company called Brimskins. Okay. Who used to they 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 did this for hats brims. So they would have oh. like a oh, okay. cow that went underneath the brim. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, okay. and they would be like um, not like stickers. They would almost. It's I'd bring I'll bring one in actually. I okay, because I'm pretty sure they sent you some for free. I, I have a bunch of them. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it was kind I mean, of the if same. If anybody wants to send me anything, I'll. Send I know, yeah. <laughs> Sneaker girls from the left out. No, this isn't a plug for brimskins at all. I just have a bunch of them. I was just, I know. It I sounds like letting, it. I was just letting people. I was just trying to. <laughs> I was just trying to plug myself. Like, if you know, you want to send anything. I know, ladies. I know there's some lady entrepreneurs out there. Send sneaker girls some stuff. Yeah. Who's? Who that? It's Guru. Guru, you still there? <laughs> <laughs> right oh my god. Are That's you working? Like, I know. Like, are you working? Yeah. It don't sound like it. Did you sit through that no. whole... Yeah. I ain't hear you talk to not one customer since you've been on the line right now. Because we haven't had any. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why you don't have any security. All right, that's security. Oh, uh, they have, we, have, we need it. They come in here and smash and grab. So when the kids I know, school, and then they, they sell it online. What's that address? <laughs> uh, what do you work at again? <laughs> Which village location? 35 Elm Street. Oh, wow. Elm Street? <laughs> I thought it would be on MLK, but same thing. Nah. Nothing good. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Ever? Man, y'all are crazy. I don't know, man. Um, I was gonna ask you something. I don't, I don't even. I, honestly, I don't remember. Oh yeah, how was your Thanksgiving? How was your Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving was cool. I got some rest. Uh, me and my son went to my mom's house. She cooked. That was pretty much it. I chilled because I had to work that next morning. Oh. Did y'all open it's, early or was it regular? Yeah, we opened up at eight a.m. The mall stores had to open up at six p.m. on Thanksgiving to one a.m. That's and then good be that back you open at six. Yeah. yeah. I want no parts of that. I'm straight. Y'all had a good Thanksgiving? Uh, yeah, it's mm-hmm. cool. I feel like the older you get, the more you just get over it. Oh, no, mine was great. You're still young, though. You're like 12. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You haven't aged since that first show. Um, great. No. <laughs> also, too, uh, let, let some of the listeners know, uh, if you live in the villa, anywhere in your city, at least in the Michigan market, if you bring in any toy uh, that's at least valued at $10 or more, it will hold your size in uh, the red 11s, the altitude green 13s, or the Gatorade 6s. That's an awesome That initiative. is awesome. That hold is, on. Time out, bro. Great. So back up, back up, back up. Well, yeah. okay, right. Like, hold on, man. Y'all that's got any size great. for 10s coming through? Cause I, be don't, no, don't even answer Does that question. Does it have to be a new toy? Just back up. Read. Yeah, it has to be a new toy. At least right. it's, it's valued okay. at least $10 or more. So yeah, we I, did it last year with the Space Jam. Yeah, so that's a good idea. I walk into a villa with a twenty dollar toy, and then yeah, you guys you put are it in there, you, yeah. We have a big box. Uh, you put it in there, and then you come over. You have to come up, uh, before the shoe comes out. So um, you come, bring a toy. We see the receipt that you pay at least ten dollars or more. We sign you up, and we hold your size and the shoe you want. And oh, then wow. once once this is over with, um, I t- last year I took uh, the toys from my Ann Arbor store to a uh, home uh, like a. Assisted living home oh, for like families. Oh, you got to you got to decide where to take it. Yeah, yeah oh, that's we really cool. Where we take it. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, no, that's, 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 that's brilliant. Probably, that's I'm a, about that's to run. Brilliant. I'm about to go to Villa today. That is a very brilliant idea. And I want those 11s. I mean, I like how they kind of yeah, use that to. That's, that's a good idea. Yeah. I didn't know about that. Well, isn't that special? Um, <laughs> that's actually. Yeah. Real, I'm about no, to shout go. Shout to Villa. Thanks yeah, for that info. Guru. That is really. Good I know that's very good info. I'm about to go buy a toy and then. You could go to that. every store with the. To- okay, never mind. Let's not. Yeah, do yeah, if I'm a reseller. But that's donating a lot of toys. <laughs> a reseller's all of a sudden became charitable. <laughs> you go to every store. It is what it is. But like, that's what we're just trying to do is give back to the community. And uh, so probably next summer, I probably have uh, my me and my uh, staff probably go somewhere and do some uh, volunteer work. Because with Villa, you're supposed to do like 1,400 hours of community service a year. And they've been having us do different stuff. So Why does it sound like working for Villa is like having probation? <laughs> no, it's not like, probation. You out, like you on the side of the freeway with a Villa vest on. <laughs> I, just think, trash. I just think what kind of separates it from the Foot Lock is that, yes, we, we take your money, but we also give back to you. Right, and you're giving back locally. Yeah. Like yeah. not, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, I like that. that. That's what's up. Um, don't be late tomorrow, please. <laughs> I'm not. I'm uh I usually go to seven thirty service on church and so I'll definitely be up. Oh right, well, yeah, we know we saw that church suit you was wearing two weeks What's ago. What's tomorrow? Are you doing what tomorrow? 
No, huh? I don't know about Toronto either. Oh no, okay. So it's supposed to be going to. Oh. No, it's supposed to be going to Chicago oh. tomorrow. Oh, did you get the invite? That's random. Did you get the yeah. invite? I didn't get the invite. Oh, it's Eric. Did you know? Julian. It's okay. Julian, did you get an invite? He says no. No, no. It was only it was only so many people. Yeah. I don't even need a whole seat to go. That's true. They're going to In and Out Burger, I think, for some yeah, fries. In and Out. I wouldn't put it past you. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could hide you. No. Anyway. Anyways. No. I can give you, I can get one of those. episode of Leave Everybody Else Out. Oh, yes. my God. Oh, really? That's really? Awesome. I'm, you know what? I know you're not talking to you, girl. You went, you went to the uh, NAAC, uh, NAACP Image Awards. You went to get a Nobel Peace Prize. You went and got four degrees and then came back. I want to hear like you left somebody. How is that Nobel Peace Prize working out for you? you got to run a show, I guess. <laughs> we couldn't get her to Chicago. Oh my! Comes God. with a million dollar check though, so oh you know you can God. buy it, buy a little something for your brothers. I mean, if I was invited to go places, then maybe I'd feel like I should give back. But oh my! Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anyways. I'm not even. <laughs> I love your. I'm baby. not even the one that's giving it to. Okay, okay, that's fine. But yeah. This is a losing battle. Have fun, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you want to do tomorrow? <laughs> I mean, it's just us. Um, we're going to grab brunch or something. We can go can to, of worms. We could go to Chicago. Is that a good idea? No. Can of worms. No. Can of worms. No. Oh, oh, I wanted to uh, mention one thing, too. I don't know if you guys seen it, but those green songs that came out on last Wednesday, Yeah. the men's are green and the kids are black. Well, how's so like they didn't, they didn't really sell. They didn't, they didn't sell well at all because the, you know most people who come in my store they want to get on some they want to match. Kids. Yeah, right. they didn't want that. They didn't match at all. So that was like that kind of dropped. How the is ball that even the same head. shoe? What? Come on, Nike. It, it's, it's not that yeah. hard. It really is. I mean, it's, it, here's the crazy part about it: the pool tabs are green. So you, you and your kid can have matching pool tabs. <laughs> the rest of the shoe <laughs> it's black. Somebody buying shoes just for the pool tab. Man, uh, but that was sad. And the uh, week six is sad. I still got tons and tons. I sold two pair of week sixes. You got a fifteen? No, no, I didn't get no fifteen. No more. Why did you care. even ask? Like, you know, you I should have, because he would have told me. Sometimes we do. I get him no up tempo. Like sometimes. They yeah, yeah. They, I know they. Yeah, I, man, they will overdo it with the up tempos, and then you know the stuff I actually really want. They don't care uh-huh. enough to make my size in, but it's cool. Uh, I'm not about yeah. to trip. Anyway. Uh, all right, man. Yeah, I guess we gotta move. You guys can keep catching up tomorrow. On the yeah, oh, so yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, I got the funny right. thanks, Guru. All right, see ya, guys. See ya. I'll be there next Saturday, though. Yep. Great. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I hope you're well rested yeah. from Chicago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hope you make it back from Chicago. I we we will. Thank you. <laughs> you know, Caesar gonna wear his his uh oh, his God. uh red outfit. Uh, you know I am. You know I am. I got to dress in red. <laughs> You already know. All right. You well, know, you, I, I'm telling you, y'all know me. I, I feel like I got to change things up. I feel like people too, many, too many people know me. But that's dope. I am totally running to, like, Target, grabbing a quick toy. And, and then we can I go know. to brunch. Yeah, that's what we could do tomorrow. Okay. We don't need them. We're buying toys for kids, for and we're going kids. to brunch. Under and brunch. And we're reserving right Spot. alone. Yep. <sighs> Bam. Mm. Are you stupid or something? Yeah. I'm as yeah. stupid as a stupid guy. I'm telling you, that might be the most apt segue in the history of the show. Uh, <laughs> it's so many dumb stories, I don't even know where to begin. I guess I can just talk about this Detroit guy. Uh, Detroit man. <laughs> sentenced. Did you? Sorry, I got to interject for one that? second. It's just funny, like, stuff happens in Detroit, and then it just gets, like, on the national news randomly, and it's yeah. just, like, the random stuff. You know that reporter? I think she's on Channel 4. I don't know. She's real animated, uh-huh. and it's, like, this, like, two years ago, this lady, there was people squatting in her house, and they threw a party. I think I've party, seen this, yes. And then they reviewed it. I'll um, get the link, but... You want Dezus and Meryl? Is that her name? That's the no. girl? There's another girl. podcast they were talking yeah, about recently. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Yeah, that yes. was funny. That was but hilarious. But the, the, the like, actual thing was like from two years ago. But oh, so they thought it was current. Yeah. Speaking of Because she was yeah. using a lot of slang that they were yeah. laughing at. Yes. <laughs> we should probably try to get a hold of Deezus and get him on the show. Can we? Uh, he's accessible. Okay. Yeah. Make it happen. Right. That's going to be on you. Yeah, then we could like talk about Detroit. There we go. There we go. No, you go. You going to set that up? I can hit him up. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll do it. You'd probably have a better chance than I would. I <laughs> know, really. 
Uh, Detroit man sentenced for murder of teen in deadly shooting over Air Jordans. Uh, an article written by John Stickroth for a Click John. on Detroit. John. Mm-hmm. So the Unbox app is a man of many talents. Mm-hmm. Uh, click on Detroit.com. <laughs> 20-year-old Dante Tyrell Ford. Yeah, I know how I felt about three names. I'll just call him Tay Ford. Tay Ford was in court recently for a sentencing hearing after he pleaded guilty to murder charges and the deadly shooting of a 17-year-old boy during an arranged meeting for the sale of Air Jordans. Uh, Dante fatally shot Corey Harris Thomas and injured another man inside a car in Detroit's West Side. Uh, Dante pleaded guilty to second-degree murder and felony firearm violations. West Side? Man. Uh, He was sentenced to 28 to 50 years in prison. The victim's mother spoke about his son at the sentencing hearing. Dante told the court he had nothing to say. You son of a... You know, that's pathetic. It's really, like, one-sided with these kind of things. Like, either somebody has so many things to say or they just don't say anything. Yeah. Like, and that's funny because I don't, I don't know where... what's his I'm, name? Uh, Larry Nasser. He, like, apologized. Larry Nasser. Larry Nasser. Oh, is that the doctor? Yo. Oh, he apologized? See, the, see, I'm torn on that because I feel like... Not saying anything is disrespectful, and I feel like talking too much is disrespectful. That's what I'm saying, but it's hard to really find a balance. At the end of the day, like you did, like and I don't want to hear how you sorry. A, you're just in a bad situation. Yeah, you like, losing. It's what, not yeah, really... I, I don't know what you could say or do at that moment, especially to the family of somebody, loved one that you killed. Like, what do you say? That's yeah. I'm sorry. It doesn't so it's cut kinda it. It's kind of like one of those things where it's, I don't feel like people aren't going to be satisfied because they. Yeah, so maybe it was just best that he didn't say anything at all because it probably yeah. would have just. Honestly, I don't even know. Shout out to the families that go through this because I don't know how you handle it. I don't know how you stop yourself from jumping over that barricade and choking out whoever the suspect is. Yeah, it takes a lot. Because I can't some people imagine. actually like say I forgive you. Like I don't know. Man, like, some no. people can get that far in their nah. life. No. I probably couldn't even show it to court because I would be like, no, I'm a, I'm a, you go I'm a murder. Yeah, you I'm go going to jail, jail for murdering him. So. You know, I I don't even know. Yeah, it's a sticky situation. There's no forgiveness. It takes yeah. so much strength to sit there through you a see, case. You just see what happens when I get the wrong McNugget sauce at McDonald's. Right, and if so. that's know, that's for you. <laughs> those two things are so analogous. I know. I, <laughs> at least you already know, like the Frosty machines down. Frosty yeah, you already know. Down. Who still gets Frosty from McDonald's? Not Frosty. Oh, McFlurries. Who Sorry. gets that? They don't, cause the machines don't machines work. Machines are always down. And I heard they're nasty too. I heard they like, never clean them. <laughs> I love how he said it too. He didn't even look up from his paper. Your he, mama, like. right? It was such a natural response. Like he didn't even know he said it. His body responded. No, it was like your mama. That's oh crazy. man, that was funny. Uh, let's see. I want to do one more story of stupid, something lighter. Uh, yes, please. I know. Is there a light? Okay, so Chinese brand released the own Nike Air Vapor Max. Uh, an article written by Patrick Montes for Hypebeast.com. Following the footsteps of Nike Air Max, Anta has produced a shoe that is virtually identical to the Vapor Max and much, much cheaper. Well, do tell. Available in blue, two versions of gray, white, and red colorways, Anta's new shoe follows the Vapor Max blueprint incredibly, incredibly close and might even earn the company some serious legal issues in the near future. For just fifty dollars, you can pick up Anta's new Vapor Max style sneaker at select Anta retailers. Uh, let me pull it up all quick. over this shoe. No, I'm gonna pull it up real quick so you can see how close. It's I mean, re- yeah, it's. Have you seen it? Yeah, I pulled it up. Are you pulling it up? I pull, Yeah, we need to get like a uh, Apple TV or something here so I can just shoot stuff in my. Yeah, we do. And mimosas. I sent an invoice to crap. And mimosas. Yeah, we know we need a mimosa. Oh, we gotta figure out. Is there a machine you just? Mix the drinks. No, it's just two ingredients. Okay, cool. <laughs> but, okay, so here's the... I was like, can we get a slushy machine in here with Boone's Farm? We, we should. As long as we got Rock and Rye. As long as we got Rock and Rye flavored Slurpees, I'm okay. good. Yeah, because uh, apparently the only thing you put in slushy machine is Boone's Farm because they'll freeze. What is that? It is cheap, cheap booze. No. Is that alcohol? Yeah. I oh, can't God. believe you don't know what Boone's Farm is. I'm not it's like a... night train. It's like... <laughs> Whole I know, time. like that's what angered you. <laughs> of all the things I said in the show, I'm I've never disturbed by the you fact that you up, don't know what Boone's Farm is. You just set up like Guru Ooh, does when we talk about LeBron. Like you just word, jumped towards the mic. Then Francis used the word booze, and you were like, "Is that alcohol?" But I didn't know if he was asking was it's, like, "Oh, <laughs> does no. booze mean alcohol?" Like I got really confused. No, I thought you said blue. Boone's Farm is like Ripple. It's like cheap wine. Oh, it is. Bottom. But if you want to get there, 
It'll get you there. It'll get you there. And like I said, it's the it's the only like liquor you can put in a slushy machine. You could probably do Night work. Train. You could probably do, uh, you know, any of the. Uh, of course, only if we're 21 or older. Lower exactly. Level, yeah, yeah, uh, only if you're 21 or older. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's stick with that. Exactly. Yeah. I'm going to have to check Craigslist for a slushy machine. Go ahead. Talk uh, about but no, these are the, the, the Vapor Max, the anti Vapor Max. I mean, I don't even know how companies think they can get away with this stuff. What uh, is this? It's this the anti Vapor Max. Why would you buy that? Why not? It's 50 bucks. <laughs> yeah, like you want to look like you got Vapor Maxes, but you can't afford the real ones. You go Ranger? Through this. Got five of them. I'm sorry, what? Get the whole collection. Do you like these shoes? Can you see them? Oh. No, I don't think um, you can see them. Never mind. Actually, I can. Um, so they're not, the they're not really white. white enough. That's the problem. Oh, there you right go. That's white. Yeah, you know, I don't love the sole. Oh, he's not feeling that. No, I'm not feeling it. Okay. Uh, it was a know. girl's shoe? Is that what it is? No, no. it's just a not. It's, just, it's a knockoff. I mean, it's, it's oh. a different. It's a, what do they call, what's a, a fancy word for knockoff? Gray market? No. That's uh, not the word. Fake? Like, uh... I'll come, I'll come back to me. Uh, unauthentic? I don't know. No, it just means, like, like a replica. Imitation? A replica. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's, that's the fancy word? That's, I don't think that's the replica. word I was looking for, but replica. something like that. It's so fancy. <laughs> we can get a slushy machine for the same price uh, of a pair of off-whites. Uh, you probably could. No, we kind of just pull it up. You just pull it up? Yeah. But yeah, I don't even know how you think. I mean, I guess because they're based in a different countries, so they might be able to get away with it because we all know how court cases go over there. Uh, even though Jordan Brand, I think, won their case. Yeah. Uh, the Kadan. Kadan, whatever they call it. Uh, so, you know, I guess you know Nike has it. I mean, there's no guessing that Nike has a case. It's just whether or not it's even worth going through the trouble over there. It's in China, right? Answer is China, right? That's what you said. Did I? <laughs> he basically said you could be wrong, but that's what you Oh, uh, no, saying. I'm not even sure No, anymore. he has a Chinese sports wear company. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, so anyway, release dates. Brought to you by Sneaker Bar Detroit, the number one source of sneaker news and release dates. <clears throat> so today is Saturday, November 25th, and we have the Air Jordan 1 uh, High OG Wheat, the Air Jordan 1 Summer of High Pack, we have the Nike Air Max Plus big logo, and then we have the Air Max 90 big logo. We have the Adidas Yeezy 350 boost. That you're looking for? Yeah, size four. I probably have them in like 30 minutes, though, so Ooh, that's damn. fine. Damn, Benjamin um, Kicks, I see you. We have the Chanel. No, nah, not booming. I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Chanel and Pharrell Adidas. NFT. How's business? Booming. <laughs> Food trail. <laughs> we have the Adidas Tubular 2.0 Prime Knit Core Black, the Adidas NMD R1 Prime Knit Core Black, and Sesame. Real quick, I, I just imagine you and Benjamin playing Marco Polo. Like, how's business? Why Boom, are, man. Why are business? you imagining? Boom, man. Exclusively at Foot Locker Europe. She shut you down there really quick, didn't she? I know. She's giving that look. Under Armour Curry 4. <laughs> Come to Human Black. Resources after the show. Oh, I've got notes. Monday, oh, November wow. 27th. I believe her, too. We have the Nike Air Max 97 OG Silver Bullet restock. Yeah, you going after those? Nike, maybe. Nike Air. I'm not really concrete these days. It's like, you know. <laughs> like <laughs> this morning I woke up and I was like, I want those Yeezys. But I, I didn't my... want them yesterday. I so everything's just open-ended. Yeah. Nice. Nike Air more. Is this one? Yeah. Up-tempo. Obsidian. Uh, Vapor Max Multicolor, Women's Vapor Max Multicolor. We have the Nike Air Vapor Ma Okay, triple, what's N-O-I-R, guys? Noir. It's pronounced Gordon. Noir. Noir. We have the cause. It's black. Is that, is that what it means? It is. Yeah, it's like noir leather is black leather. Oh. Like my soul. I love the game. Yeah, LA I was going to say that, actually, but I didn't want Has that come on Xbox One yet? Could also be Niege. Okay, <laughs> we have the we have the cause uh, Air Jordan Four so Black. I, I might go after those. I know you stay back. I might. You got to pay your mortgage and stuff. You probably shouldn't get those. <laughs> um, Air Jordan Retro One OG NRG Gold Top Three, and we have the Cameron Reebok those. DMX Run Ten Harlem Nights. That just sounds like a shoe you want to wear. Yeah, I don't even know. I'm not mad at those. Like. <laughs> if, if there was a DMX, I would wear it. those. Yeah, you look like you like DMX. Tuesday, November 28th, we have the Nike Kyrie S1 Hybrid What The? Exclusively at Foot Locker's Wall, St. Sneak Easy location on the Foot Locker Reserve app. Wednesday, November 29th, wait we a have minute. the... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
Where is that available? I know. I forgot the and. No, no. Where is that available? Foot Locker. Which location of Foot Locker? Wall Street. Thank you. Not the Wall ST or whatever you said. <laughs> oh, that, that's what she said? I, I missed I it. I not Oh, man. Can you? I, I need that, I need that audio, like, know. singled out. <laughs> I didn't even notice the difference. Doesn't mean my like text message ring. Glad somebody's listening. Oh. Wednesday, November 29th, we have the Dita's Wait Ultra. a minute. I listen to your every word. I appreciate it. Oh my god. Wednesday, November 29th, we have the Dita's Ultra Boost Laceless. We have Legend Ink and Nude. What? Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> right. Legend Ink and Nude is what? the other color. Ooh. <laughs> Thursday, November. I'm wearing those now. <laughs> you wear those every day. Ugh. <laughs> Thursday, November 30th, we have the Rockefeller Nike Air Force One. Low, we have the Adidas Ultra Boost Mid ATR Noble Indigo, European releasing at $220. We have the Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0 Mocha and Navy Multicolor, and the Adidas NMD R1 Footwear White. Okay. Oh, Friday, color. December 1st, <laughs> we have the Adidas Peer Boost DPR Triple Black, the Adidas and Nike Runner. I fifty nine twenty three. We have the Don C Nike Air Force One High General Release. Nike LeBron fifteen New Heights. Nike PG one bright violet. We have Vapor Max's laces and Black Knight and Pure Platinum and Vapor Max bread. And Nike Rack Hyper Dunk twenty seventeen Fly Knit Multicolor. We have the Nike Metcon DX DSX two Fly Knit two. We have the Nike Air Humera. Hu- did I say that right? Humera. Oh yeah. It sounds like a health insurance plan. It does. Black and black maize yellow. That's what it says, Francis. It says black maize yellow on it. I was right. See, you knew what you were doing. And then we have the medium olive, not that, not to be confused with the dark or light olive desert sand burgundy. And then Saturday, December second, we have the Air Jordan Six UNC, Air Jordan Thirteen GS Italy Blue, Air Jordan Thirty Two Low Wind Like Eighty Two Bulls. Nike little Penny posit. Oh, that's cute one. Hey, Penny. Oh, my. Travis Scott and Nike Air Force One Low. And then we have the Hannon and Adidas New York Dark Storm. And on December 3rd, we have the acronym and Nike Lunar Force One Low. And the M-Q-Q-N- What? That's moon face or something? Why it's got Q's in it? I don't know. Instead of O's. I don't know. That's... Moon eyes? Yeah. <laughs> it's pronounced Gordon. No, but that's what they got the cues in there, like for some reason. Moon I guess it makes it, I yeah, it makes it cool. Looks, yeah, I, guess. I don't know. Moon Eyes and Vans collection exclusively. Go blue! At the twenty. Go blue. I'm sorry. What happened? Uh, They're up fourteen nothing. Let's go. Huh? I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Buckeyes gonna do hate. Me. Wow. I'm what, sorry, sicker girl. What's going on? I just started thinking. They girl. made a. They did, made a. Um, did, uh, did, did, did all uh, those grown ass men just grab another grown ass man's? No. Wow, we were no. doing so good, and I was gonna I compliment know. you guys for great behavior today. I'm Francis, just, I'm just saying, like Francis, you, you messed just got, it up. You, you just really got hyped about up. men just I grabbing balls. I was almost balls. gonna send my mom this episode, but now I can't. You still can. No. Have you seen the last? Two? I just no. broke down what football. The last we're was. almost there. Like here was there, but we just got to knocked it down. Can we take that out? Can we take it out? Can we take out the audio? And you can send I don't it to know. It? There are a number of shoes releasing overseas with no set release date for here in the state, such as the Diodora N9000 Camo Pack and the Nike Air Hirachi OG91. Stay tuned to sneakerbardetroit.com for more sneaker news and release dates. Sorry, I think I took your. your no, you good. Part, no, no, you can take. You know, you want. but passing it on to my favorite segment of the show. Oh. <laughs> oh, isn't that sweet? Does that get me out of the human resources meeting I'm gonna have no. to have? <laughs> <laughs> you know what she's like? She's like the mother. Like, you know, you get punished, but she'll tell you, I still love you, though. Yeah, I, yeah, pretty much. Well, am I going to get punished? Ugh. <laughs> I'm just going to keep writing you up. There is no, yeah. I'm telling you, he's going to win no matter which, which way you do. I got an extra pen you can borrow. It's okay. Oh, well, this is the Sneaker Box Podcast Lady Sneakerheads of the Week, brought to you by At Chicks with Heat. Francis, where would I find that chicks with heat? Instagram. That is correct, sir. It's like you've been stalking them. Maybe. Maybe. So I got to give a little bit of love. Um, you know, she's kind of like my own personal karate kid. You know, sneak on, sneak off, sneak on, sneak off. That's probably way before all of you. I remember. 
Ah, uh, yes. She's sneak on, by the way. Oh, behave. For behove. But behove. Behove. Oh. I don't know where I'm going with that. Oh, oh behave. That's where I was going. <laughs> yeah, see? I love those movies. I, I yeah. didn't watch that again. Oh, we should... We can get in our jammies, and we can have a movie weekend this weekend. We can do popcorn, and we can curl each other's hair. Oh, never mind. What's up? <laughs> he's he's, he's that, ready. Yeah. Let's he's do ready. this. Oh, you know, she's running through my head all night. She's ex-sneaker dreams. I don't know which Air Max is. This is my movie theme, by the way, this, this uh, particular episode. Because, uh, yo, Zara. Yo, Zara. What is happening over here? Oh, no, what is going on? <laughs> it's like Rocky. Yo, oh, Adrian. Oh, Adrian. Okay. Uh, Yo, I think where you Zora. Got to send her some love anyway. That is a nice photo. Yeah. I just feel like it. You know, I I I like those I photos. Took the, I don't. I hear took that one myself. But I hate it because it's like it just seems like it takes too much time to even. But it looks nice. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Sunset, cute. I'm so glad you chimed in on my segment. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Since I'm on this movie theme, she's uh, she's like one of my favorite Monty Python movies. Do you know which one it is? Anyone? Anyone? Uh, if I knew who Monty Python was, I probably would have been name of that. Wow. That hurts. That just cuts to the core. Can I phone a friend? Yeah. <laughs> no, this is somebody that I like. You have a white friend? Ranger. Oh, yeah, you can phone me. You went to the same high school. Yeah, high you school. can phone me anytime. But she's like one of my favorite Monty Python movies. It is The Life of Brian. She's The Life of Nay. Where's this place at? I'm more impressed by the ice cream Yeah. Sandwich. Oh, no, there's an ice cream museum. Is that? Oh, museum that's of it? Ice Yeah, Museum that's of Where's that at? We oh, got to go there. That's probably in it? San Francisco. Yes. And there's oh, that, yeah, yeah. that guy thing working oh, there. Oh, my God. There's a pool yeah. full of sprinkles. You see our eyes are lighting up right now? I have never seen you so excited. Whoa. There's a pool of sprinkles. Like, honestly, yeah. Anyways. Well, since her mom isn't listening to this episode, no, I can say. No, no, no. Next, no, nope, next. Yeah, move on. Okay. <laughs> next person. Oh, and you just can't seem to get enough. You need Anita, nada. Does that make sense? That anyway. seems like a cool place too, man. I know I that's a nice go museum. Hopefully, that's in San Francisco too. Hmm. Walk the across the street. Bergamot, Bergamot Station. I don't know where it is, but you know, with the, the restraining order keeps me from going there. <laughs> I thought that only applied to schools. Well, it's broadened oh. recently. Yeah. Well, yeah, kids take field trips there probably. He's been yeah. busy. <laughs> Indeed. And, um, oh, it's in Santa Monica. Last but not least, um, what more is there to say? Uh, Got to send some love to Donye Taylor, my girl. I miss you. And thank you for not putting a restraining order up yet. She's working on it right now. At least I have a place that I can yeah, plan to go for holidays. Yeah, you haven't been notified yet. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Check your mail. They serve those oh, they, in person. They can, oh. Yeah, I was going to say, do they do them by email? Because I'm in trouble if they do. <laughs> They're just outside the door. <laughs> Ouch. Um, but those are uh, this week's Sneaker Box Podcast Lady Sneaker Heads of the Week. Brought to you by Chicks with Heat and Fr- uh, Caesar. Where would those be? On Instagram. Yes. Indeed, they are on Instagram. So that's it for this week for me. Next week, big drum roll. Uh, one fifty episode. One fifty. One fifty. You are correct. Like I, I mean, honestly, like every time I get to these milestones, I do get a little sentimental because I remember where we started. I know where we come from. I know where we're going. And. I remember people telling me, you can't do two hours. You can't. I didn't think you were going to do a second he, week. I remember looking at your face. I swear to God, I made White Ranger believe. Because I remember looking at his face when I first came in the studio. And I pitched the show. And he was just kind of like, what? Like, and it seemed like you were more interested to see how big of a failure this was going to be as opposed to being on board. People are still telling us we can't do two hours. Yes, people are still well, telling you, us. Well, you can't do two hours. We're at like two hours and ten minutes already. Are we? Oh, yeah. shit. Okay. So, uh, um, but no, I, I'm happy that we made this far because, yeah, quite honestly, the reason I was so intrigued was I didn't think you could come up with the money. The- <laughs> 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 Woo! 
They got hot in the air real quick. I'm on fire. Oh, you are. Tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go see a doctor and get some cream for see, that. See, I feel like when I say it, like we kind of just laugh. It's so airy, but like when he said it, man, it's like burn. It cuts deep. Yeah, it it burn. That hurt my soul. Uh, that's like but either. the truth of the matter is, we're now almost at episode yes. 150, and so you were able to come up with the scratch. So yes. we are at 150. So well, almost. Yeah, almost at 150. Almost. almost. But nobody thought we'd get to ep- pass episode 12, and here we are. So uh, yeah, anyway, so we got that going to. for us. Yes. And you know what we say at that point? Is that- yes. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, so-, so with that. Um, I'll see you next week, and then I think after that we should just take the rest of the year off. I think so. Because like when you hit 150, where else are you going to go? 151. Oh. oh. <laughs> just you practical. were you were in those higher math classes at that school, weren't you? I know. You? I just stopped. Uh, well. Honors. I'm, just like when I was a kid, like the map of Detroit like stopped at eight miles. Like, nothing. For us too, there was nothing south of eight miles. This is so hard. <laughs> oh, man. I got nothing more. I'll see you guys later. Yes, sir. All right, man. So, shout Word. outs. Remember to check out our sister show, The Monday Mezzo, Monday, 8 o'clock p.m. on the Monday Mezzo YouTube channel. Also, Talking Kicks, I believe, is coming back this week. Check them for out. For the new season? Yeah, for the new season. Um,. So should we start a new season then? I know, should I just... 150 like, episodes in one season. Yeah, next, oh, yeah, next season starts next week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a week off. It's like, I don't know. We should just like Game of Thrones. We just take two years off and then come back. Uh, <laughs> but no... <laughs> I know, Pump Ohio State, man. God. What? Uh, come on, Michigan. I need you to win this game. Hey, this is where y'all... Yeah, I said no. bump. I said bump. Sports. Yes, okay. Go anyway, team. Uh, go team. Go team. Grab that ball. Also, make sure to check out Sneaker Files, Rookie Do, the Soheacans, the Heat Hoarders. Those are my dudes. If we do go back to San Francisco or the Bay Area, those will definitely be the guys we hang out with. And we're going for ice cream. Yeah. Oh, ice man. cream. Not museum. where they took us. Uh, I'm going to the grocery store. <laughs> Just get some ice cream from there, play it safe. Uh, we can go back to that restaurant, though. That Mexican restaurant was live. But anyway. But do they have? But they have Taco Bell. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and so also remember to use Crepitech, the only brand that protects you from head to toe. Uh, they are the official partners of Sneaker Boss Podcast. Use them to clean and protect your shoes from life, for anything life or nature throws at it. Get the most out of your sneakers and practice safe stunning. Go to Crepitech.com to get your shoes some protection. And today's word, living in the moment, means letting go of the past and not waiting for the future. It means living your life consciously or whether each moment you breathe is a gift. That's from Oprah Winfrey. Given to her by John Lambosi. <laughs> Put a clip at the front. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, for, the, for those who want to know, the song that we played at the beginning of the show, uh, that was, yeah, that was Jingle Bell Knock by the Scribbling Idiots. You can find that on SoundCloud. Once again, the song is called Jingle Bell Knock, uh, performed by the Scribbling Idiots. And you can find that on SoundCloud. So, Anyway, appreciate everybody that stuck with us this far. Um, help us get to 50,000 downloads by the end of the year. Also, make sure to tune in next week, 150. We're going to have my homeboy, Chris Henderson, a.k.a. C. Henderson. Oh, the guy from that MSNBC show? No, not yet, at least. He's, he's working his way there. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but definitely t- um, tune in next week. Hopefully the whole crew is here. And uh, anyway, hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you guys next week. We out. Peace. Peace. Peace.